Howdy. Oh wait, I forgot to change the title. Whoops. Let me change it to just chatting. <laughs> Whoops. Best title I could come up with on the on the top of the dome. There you go. Thank you, Yars, for the 81 months. Goodness gracious. How you guys like the lighting? It's a little bit warmer now. It's a little bit of a yellower, like a daylight. I didn't like the, the bright white light. The white light is what I had before, but this is nice. It's a little bit fluxier. Yeah. I kind of like it. We're going to give it a shot tonight. Is your voice okay? Um, I think so. I recorded two episodes of the podcast today with uh, Alpharad, so it's been holding out pretty good, I think. It's not bad. It's going to get gruff. Yeah, it's going to get worse. I'm not feeling good, dude. I, uh, I ate Firehouse today. And the fuck, I got a meatball sub, and the meatballs were like hockey pucks, bro. It was like a pinball. This shit was so hard. It was tough, dude. Tragic. How did the rest of the Mario 64 stream go? Not well. Not well. <laughs> Not great. Things went off the rails very quickly. Hold on. Listen, I'm not worried about it. I have not practiced Super Mario. If it happens, it happens. If I do well, I do well. I only expect to win one round anyway, so fuck it, whatever. Are we Mario 64 in tonight? No. Not tonight. I gotta build a bit of a bet. Oh my god, look how deep these are. Jesus Christ. My brain is getting blood. You see this? This shit's working. Send the blood. Post haste. Jesus, good lord. <clears throat> Tonight's movie night. We're going to watch some movies. I'm going to be gone for a week soon, so we got to build up the YouTube. Going to do a bit of reaction. I don't think it's any React Mojo. We just did that. We just did that. I want to do Beyond Belief, honestly. I do. But we can't put it on YouTube. I might not need it. Might have a backlog. I don't know. Samir? No, Samir. Samir I can't put on YouTube. I can't YouTube Samir. And I've been I've been doing watch mojoing for too long now. Like I'm I'm leaning on it a little bit too much. Because I've been busy. And I've been gone. And I'm about to be gone again. You sound well. I'm fine actually. I'm feeling good. My voice is just fucked. I don't know what happened. It's bad. Late night Halo into podcast recording. Yeah. It was tough. If we have enough uh, viewership, though, I'll pop that fucking bounty, bro. Actually, I have to do it tonight, regardless. <laughs> Because I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Ugh. When do I pop this bounty? I got to pray for good viewership. Oh, man. Tell your friends. It's a weird bounty. <laughs> That's the first stage of the worst code of your life. <laughs> 
I think I'm good. I like it when my voice is like this. I sound meaner. It's nice. Are you getting a chest cold? I feel fine. Well, I don't feel great. My stomach kind of hurts, but that's because I ate food. And the food is weird. Thanksgiving plans? I'm just staying around here. There's a family here. Probably going to go Black Friday shopping. But what's the lowest viewership you do the bounty for? I can't tell you that because I can't tell you the floor. But I can tell you no matter what, I can do it. It's just as it scales higher, gets better. So, that's all. I got in trouble once because I disclosed the uh, bounty numbers. That was for the cursed bounty that I did that one time that they wouldn't give to me. Which was totally warranted. I fucked up. I will admit when I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> that was bad. What are bounties again? Um, sponsored streams on on Twitch. Basically, they, they pay me to promote a product for a, a minute or an hour. So... Yeah. Do we rank? No, I guess not. I was gonna say, can we just rank Thanksgiving foods? Actual YouTube sh swill. I mean, it's Thanksgiving, right? Ugh. Tough. How on earth do you promote something for a solid hour? <laughs> well, it's a game. It's like you're playing a game. It's not like I'm just like telling you to buy a product for an hour. That would be very funny. Bounties are like I'll play a game for an hour and people can see it, you know? Does that Food Fight website have Thanksgiving items? Yeah, but the problem is I can't get this video out before Thanksgiving because if I record tonight, earliest it's going to go out is Friday. Chat, as a EU viewer, what is Thanksgiving? <laughs> Basically, when the white man conquered the Americas, there was some kind of thing where we all sat around a table and ate turkey and gave thanks for all of our friends. And then we killed all our friends. I don't know. I think it's something like that. So. Based? <laughs> I, I can't speak for my for my ancestors. Could do a Black Friday thing. But actually, no. Because the first thing we're doing is... Uh, first thing that we're doing is actually sort of tied to that. So... Black Friday sucks this year. Nothing is opening at midnight. Dude, don't say that on my stream. People will hate us. Turkey sucks. Why did the pilgrims have to eat that? Turkey is delicious, bro. You eating dry turkey? It's not moist. Come on. No, dude. I love Black Friday shopping so much. The problem, though, is uh, I don't think I get to this year because I have to do a Mario 64 run on Friday. Turkey's delicious, bro. Turkey's taste. My local mall is opening at 8 a.m. Yeah, Black Friday is getting less and less barbaric. <laughs> I understand why people don't like Black Friday. And I understand why it's terrible. I get it. But I love shopping on Black Friday. Truly. I do. Big fan of it. There is something magical about walking around a mall at 4 a.m. Don't know why. Don't know why I love it so much. There's something truly mystical about that experience, you know? Music's loud. Oh, is it? My bad. Sorry, buddy. How's the, uh, how's the Steam sale? Should I pick anything up? Oh my god, everything I want is on sale. Holy shit.
Yeah. Might pick up some stuff. I worked retail and I enjoyed Black Friday. Huh? Do you like stuffing? Dude, stuffing is delicious. Stuffing is my favorite thing. Stuffing is my favorite thing there. Is delicious. I worked retail on Black Friday. It was the worst day of the year. <laughs> I think it depends on where you work, right? Probably all depends on where you work. I No, I, I do understand how you can hate stuffing. Some of the stuffing that I've seen is like... I've seen really dry and separated stuffing where it's just celery and bread. I get it. That's gross. But when it's moist and it's hot, ooh, baby. That's what I like. Stovetop stuffing is gross. It's not bad. Stovetop is fine. Ham is the best Thanksgiving food. Ham isn't really Thanksgiving food, though right ham is like it it's i guess it's kind of thanksgiving and kind of christmas but i don't really think of it that way ham is christmas kind of i don't know might just be a my family thing no 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 don't get me wrong my family does ham at thanksgiving too but I don't think it's like a Thanksgiving thing, you know? Is turkey better than kitchen? Kitchen. Is turkey better than chicken? It's like... Different... Different moods. You know what I mean? Different vibes. Chicken is way more versatile. Chicken you could put in anything. And on anything. I've never had duck. My college friends once made a turducken, and I didn't eat it, because that sounds gross and inhumane. That's honestly disrespectful to God. God made three different animals, so you would enjoy them each individually. It's kind of disrespectful for you to combine them all together. Just me. A what? A turducken? Do you guys know what a turducken is? It's a duck stuffed in a chicken stuffed in a turkey. This is a real thing. It's actually kind of brutal. Oh, here's Guy Fieri. Yeah, so it's... This is the turkey. And this is the chicken. And this is the duck. I'm sorry for any vegetarians out there. That's gross. I know. I didn't eat it. God, dude. Meat is so weird to look at. Because I look at it and I'm like, what if what if there was an alien race that ate us and put us on display like that? You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Can you imagine how dry that thing has to be? Yeah, I just... Ugh. You guys never think of that? Whenever I look at meat, I'm like, that could be me. Aliens could do that. Well, I do. I think of that. A gorilla ape man. <laughs> stuff me in an ape. Stuff us both in a gorilla. That sounds disgusting. Grind me up in a nutrient slurry when I die. I don't think I would taste very good. I don't know. That's not true. I basically only eat bread and cheese. I'm a human calzone. Like, if you cut me open with a knife, I would just spill out ricotta. So, never mind. I'm probably delicious. You have to cook people like pigs? I know. We've talked about that on the stream before. Listen. I'm curious. Not a joke. I've always wanted to know. People say it's like pork. I don't know. 
I'm curious, bro. Coney isn't scared of prions. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not eating the brain. The brain gets very mad when you eat it. The brain goes into a tantrum when you eat it. Goes crazy. When is your 16th star turning run? Uh, Friday. Friday at 4.30 Eastern, I think. Let me check with Simply. Hold on. 4.30 Eastern. PM. Duh. I have not practiced anymore since yesterday. I have to learn... No, it's 4.30. Shut up. It's 3.30 Central. Dummy. Um, I have to learn BLJs and get those more regular. Will you stream here? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to stream here. I don't see why not. Do I get votes in Melee Summit? Am I allowed to? I don't think I have any votes. Vote for Ringler? Is Ringler up for it? What? I don't even know who's in it, dude. Watch Wrangler's video. Hold on. Who's even up for it? Oh, God, dude. When there's this many people in, I forgot how, how anxiety-inducing this is. Holy shit. Sora. Oh, he's the Australian dude. Yeah. Magi, none. Wrangler, Free Palestine, Sunsei, Null, Slug, Eddie, Mexico... None is a lock, right? None is a lock. He's a falcon. Oh, people already got eliminated? Oh. The only one I know is Fat Goku. This isn't disrespect to any of them. I just don't know who they are. I don't know Melee that well. I hope Sora makes it, bro. I love Australia. Hbox invited. Dude, when Hbox didn't make Ultimate Summit, I could not believe it. I thought he was absolute... Like, I didn't even think it was a question. Holy fuck, dude. That was crazy. By the way... Hominid. Word of the day is hominid. Hominid. Which I don't know what that means. Any member of the family hominidae... Consisting of all modern and extinct humans and great apes and all their immediate ancestors. Hominid. So they're just dead ancestors. I guess. I don't know what that means. Monkeys and humans. I know alien hominid, but I never knew what that meant. Bipedal monkeys? I didn't evolve out of no dang monkey. I tell you what. Sorry, one sec. Da, 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 da. Let 
What did you evolve from? I just came out like this. I didn't evolve from anything. I'm set, bro. I'm good. Sorry, I'm still setting stuff up. This guy just happened. I just popped into existence. <laughs> Should I get Pony Island? It's $1 on Steam. Yes. Play Pony Island and play The Hex. They're both very good. Very good. Oh, I want to download something for later. Fellas, guess what came out? Whoops. Guess what came out? I'll show you. Wait. Uh-oh, ring fit time. woo woo woo, -woo. Why is the resolution like this? Fix it. There you go. Guys. Hold on, I gotta go to the eShop. I gotta download it. Awesome aspect ratio. Shut up. Guys, guess what came out? Wait, is it under recent releases? Puppies and kittens? <laughs> 20 ladies? That's simply too many. Where's what I'm looking for? Where's the game I want? Hold on. Go away for a second. I'm gonna try to find it. I want to see if it's here. Please be here. <laughs> well, well, well. Big Brain Academy. Brain versus brain. We're going to see if I'm losing my fucking mind on stream. Now, I figure if I just do this at the beginning of every stream for like 10 minutes, maybe I'll be able to retain some of my gray, ma gray matter. Oh, God, it's already going. You see? I'm in trouble. We won't do this now, but we'll do it later. Dementia check. Yeah. I'm nervous, bro. I might be losing it. It's bad. Okay. Dude, is that actually like... Is Does it have online? It says brain versus brain. That's intense. The game is actually good. What does that mean? What does it... It's not even like... It's just asking you questions, right? It's like Mario Kart Ghosts. <laughs> That's actually funny. A brain ghost. That's good. Hopefully there's regional servers. <laughs> Dude, if I was Nintendo, I would have regional servers and I would pit them against each other. Start a civil war, north versus south. Your IQ is your ELO. Dude, you're coming up with a game, bro. Seriously. We, we have video games here. These are real ideas. All right, bro. So, uh, I have to watch this video. This isn't something I would normally watch, but I can't believe this got made. I have to watch this. It came out today. Everybody, did you know Mr. Beast did real Squid Game? What the fuck? It's real. He did real Squid Game. I have to watch it. Guys, listen. I have to see this. I have to look at what happened. No, I have to watch it. Listen, you got. I have to see it. I have to see it happen. 
You guys, I get, please forgive me. I have to watch this. Apparently, the set design was $2 million. Did he kill people for real? Huh? Oh, God. It was $3 million? Jesus Christ. He's only giving out 456 k Apparently... This game is this video is sponsored by Brawl Stars, which is amazing because I want to know how much they paid for this. Bro, what did Brawl Stars pay for this? It had to have been literally millions, right? This is huge. By the way, I have not refreshed this. I've had this open for a while. Watch this. 8.9 mil. Number one on trending. It would be irresponsible of me not to watch this. Okay? We have to watch this. It is a cultural moment. It is a movement for us all. Cody boosted it to mil. Just showing it on stream. You're welcome. I have to see it. Guys. I have to see what happened. Also, I have to see how Mr. Beast does his editing. Because this dude go crazy. Dude, Mr. Beast has an edit every, like, three or, or four seconds. It's all about retention. Retench. It's about the retench, bro. His editing is nutty. That's what I hear, bro. All right. This is my first time. This is not a joke. This is my first time actually watching a Mr. Beast video. We're capturing it in real time. Okay? Cody, please make Crab Game real. Why Crab Game for me? You think I can't do Squid Game? I could do it. I could do this. I can't edit like him because Cody takes too long to make a point. What do you want from me? This is a cerebral channel. If you have to edit that fast, you can only make noises. Uh-oh. Uh like, it's just a series of Hanna-Barbera sound effects. I'm like a fucking ape. You're also not rich. How do you know? Hmm? All you see is this sub number that I show you. Open your mind. I could be lying to you right now. I could take a zero off that number and you would have you would never know. It would be very suspicious that I would have 20,000 subscribers with 750 viewers. <laughs> you know? All right. Let's see what Mr. Beast is up to. I'm genuinely... I I must know. $50,000 game of extreme hide-and-seek. How does he do it? He did every single set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. Wait, how'd they do that Six shot? people survives the longest... Oh. ...set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives... Not even a real zoom in. Pfft. Survives the longest. Amateur. 456 grand. The first game we're gonna play is Red Light, Green Light, and they have 30 minutes to cross. Are the these red just line random people? The other side of the huge room. So without further ado, Green Light. Red Light. Oh, oh my and god! As you can see, every single player has a device strapped to them that when they're eliminated, it pops. Uh, Chris, you wanna have a chance at one? Red light. They bleed grease? Oh god. Oh. Die. Oh! Oh, oh no! I, I know for sure this guy moved. Green light. I don't see anybody moving. 
Oh, yo, they're dropping. Okay, now some people are getting out. How are they detecting the movement? Uh, red leg, right? Mm -hmm. You're fine. 30 people have gotten out so far. If they move right now, oh. they're out. They have to hold this position until we say green light. I, Why is he explaining it? I can take all the time I want because we still have 23 minutes left. We get a green what light a monster. Doing, doing a full squat. Green light. Green light. Is this in high quality? I feel like I'm in like 480p. What the fuck? Get green out light. of here. Oh, they all stop. Red light. Oh, oh, I caught it! I caught oh. it! Oh no! Dude. Okay. Do it slowly though. Be careful. How do you okay. even do you a casting yeah, call for green this? Light. Red light. How do you even search for this? What? Where is she going? <laughs> she was jogging over here. We're gonna go see who's in the very back. She you forgot are colors. In dead last. What's going on? I'll let the others clear the path for me. You literally haven't even moved. No, uh, a couple steps. We'll see if it pans out. Green light. Yellow. Red light. Oh, that, we got her. Dude, this is so bizarre to watch. The yellow light worked. Oh, that was diabolical to throw a yellow light out there. Since 067 was a big part of the show, I'll let you say green light. Green light. Red light. Yo, it'd be funny if she just got it. How did they make <laughs> this you warehouse? See, over 100 people have been eliminated. Do the honors, Chandler. Green light. Red light. Oh, that was a loud one. Did they have to like rent this whole thing out Green light. for like a Red month light. to look paint it? Look how close they are to the finish line. It is do or die for most of these. Money people. is Everyone truly Everyone, look incredible. up at the TV. You have four minutes and twenty seconds left. Yeah, that's the number. Green light. Red light. We have our first two finishers over here. Let's go. Green light. It's so insane to me Red light. that Squid Sorry, Game is such a cultural moment. All right, we have five people across Despite, the line Despite like now. the themes screwed. and the the, if you don't run faster, the concepts of the show that we could just have a billionaire YouTuber throw people into it. You know? Only two minutes remain. Carl makes me way too nervous. Green light. Red light. But I think most people see it as a funny death game. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm all for non, not critically anal analyzing the media you consume. Listen, this looks fun. Don't get me wrong. It looks hilarious. But it's so bizarre to me, right? We have it's like one if you read Animal I'm Farm and you had a whole farm of people Red dress light. up like pigs. And that's the joke. The line, you you know good. what I mean? You're good. You're good. Let's go, go. It's fascinating. Oh, it works! We got him! You're definitely out. Dude, I knew that would work. Green light! What if Mr. Beast was killing all these people? Red light! He just did it like You're definitely so many across international they waters. Gotta They've gotta you gotta sprint. Green light! Picked up a bunch of drifters and homeless people. I'm not even gonna say red light. I'm not saying red light. Oh, <laughs> too late. Too late. What was that lady doing in the back? She was just taking a nap the whole time. Congratulations! Bro, he built the bedroom. Oh my god! I get okay. I don't know why I'm surprised. The guy's a fucking billionaire. I don't know why I'm surprised that he did all of this. He said he was going to do it. It's obviously going to be one to one. Dude, congratulations on surviving. He could have just Red bought the set. Light. That's true. <laughs> If you look at this TV, you'll see that only 232 the Stars logo is of killing you survived. Me. If you look so above good. your head, you'll see the $456,000 you're competing for. And now let's move on to Honeycomb. In Honeycomb, everyone gets a needle and a cookie with a different shape on it. And they have 10 minutes to remove the shape from the cookie. But if they break the shape, they're eliminated. Uh -huh. All right, so everybody, I'm going to need you to get in the line in front of one of these question marks. Bro, you can't let them pick the shape. Why did you pick this one? Just like the middle. Basically, That's not fair. On the show, they got the pick. Did you even watch the game? No. <laughs> so many of these people are about to get out. Reveal shape number one. Jesus Christ. Oh! Why a pickaxe? Reveal the second symbol. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is Look brutal. It could have just been you, like I a be drop curtain or something. Reveal oh my God. It. Go for it. Oh my god, dude. I know Umbrella going home. That's I don't know all I got to say. We got the circle. Thank God we didn't get the umbrella. 
I wonder why they interviewed this guy. I know Umbrella going home. That's I don't know. All I got you got this. Why do you think they interviewed this guy? Any guesses? Why do you think this person got pulled aside? Hmm? Bro, he's playing 4D chess. He really is. He knows that children are going to comment below LOL 457. This guy's a fucking genius. The circle. Thank God we didn't get the umbrella. What a genius, dude. You look pretty nervous over here. Even though you got the star, you're the main character. So you have plot armor. You're yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Start the timer. Oh my God. The challenge is underway. <laughs> this room is so small for all these people. You just hear them all scraping. Oh, they're trying to do... Yeah, okay. I hate my life. I mean, it's not honey, right? So, wait, they all have cams? Bro, that's crazy. That's so much more. Oh, dude, he did everything. This guy is the final life. boss of content. I was taking. It He's out the, of the Shao Kahn of YouTube. In half. Let's see it. Huh? No, that doesn't work. It's working. No, it isn't. That's, it's a cookie, dude. Get an umbrella. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Look Die. <laughs> we have a successful triangle. Congratulations. Thank you. They should have at least had paintballs. Somebody should have gotten hurt. That would have been a lot more fun. Not like die, but like, you know, a little bit of pain would be nice. What Jimmy doesn't know is I brought a lighter and I'm going to drop it for somebody. What? 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 Like on the show. One and a half wow. minutes remaining. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the first perfect umbrella I've seen. What kind of cookies are these? Oh yeah, easy peasy. Six, seven, okay. She passed, she does have plot armor. How hard are they? Almost there. Sure. So close, 30 well, seconds. Well, no, they have to be more brittle. <laughs> oh my right? God. Oh, are you serious? They're not cookies? No, but he said that they weren't like honeycomb things. Unless they are just honeycomb things. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. 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 Time is up. You did it? You did the umbrella? Dude, every, just... dude who built this slide? Yeah. Time is up. You did Look at this slide, man. That's like 40 feet tall. I guess it's not that hard to build, but Jesus. I want to ride the slide. That looks fun. And just like that, all these players it probably have hurt been your eliminated. Butt so bad. But don't worry because they're all walking away with two thousand dollars in cash. Why? They didn't win. They're dead. 142 of you survived Honeycomb. And if you leave in the next five minutes, I'll give you four thousand dollars. Let's weed out some of the weak people. Oh, no, four thousand dollars. Oh, that's shit. smart. Thank you. I'm not expecting this many people. Okay, okay. What if everybody no, left? Content cancel. Split up into groups of ten. We had them form teams because next up is tug of war. This could determine your chance at half a million dollars. We needed to I was hoping they would have something. We have intelligence, skill, and bronze. We trying to recruit the biggest people so we can get real strong. I was hoping it would be like they would do the nighttime thing, but like find a way to like not kill people. You know. I just sent three people off. We got ten now. The nighttime. I should have taken the four grand. We now have 12 different groups of 10 people. Let's move on to the next game. And now let's decide who faces who. Yeah! Okay. We're gonna draw one from here. Six. Are they we'll actually doing tug one. of war? Five. Okay. Follow me to the bridge. And now the moment you've been waiting for, a game of tug of war. Team Dude. Six. Where are we? What the fuck? This is CG, right? This has to be C this this is CGI as hell. But where's the cutoff? Copium? <laughs> Nobody's this rich. Nobody on the fuck Jeff Bezos couldn't do this. Somebody asked, is this how we call the influencers? It should be. Everybody on YouTube should do this. For 
versus Team Five. As soon team as you hit the partner one, program three, on YouTube five. and start monetizing, you, you should have to go in. Or your this. flag crosses to the other team's side, you're eliminated. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Right. Three. I thought Seven, he would wear go. a flashier yeah. coat, though. I'm an influencer? No, but I came up with it, so I don't have to. Team Six is falling! As you are done! It's so funny watching people do the thing that they do on the show. Everybody's playing their role. Die! Congratulations, Team 5! You have all moved on! Yeah, I wouldn't know if all these people died. I don't know who any of them are, so... They might have died, for all I know. Someone's shoe fell off? Right at the end! Dig! 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 Where? Dig! Dig! Oh! Oh, I don't see it. Congratulations! Gonna have a bunch of missing people in a week. It's only 500 people. Team number two versus team number seven. They seem happy. Team seven and two, head on out. You keep me alive, we'll get the money. Do you think they're going to re recreate this as a game show on TV at some point? Not this, but I definitely thought when I was a kid, I don't know about you guys, I definitely thought by the time that I was an adult, I would watch people die on TV. This isn't a joke. I thought by the time I was an adult, there would be like Running Man and like Hunger Games on television. Not a joke. I really thought that we were going to get to that point. But as a kid, I also thought when people died in movies, it was because they wanted to die, so they just died. Does that make sense? Like, I thought if you got shot in a movie, it's like, I will volunteer. And then you get shot in the movie and you die for real. <laughs> Not a joke. I had no value for the human life when I was a kid. None at all. I thought people just, just, like... Uh, yeah, I'm in Hellraiser. Yahoo! Whatever, rip my flesh off my bones. Mr. Beast should have put on old person makeup, entered, <laughs> and told people he had a brain tumor. <laughs> it's clearly him still. <laughs> That's really funny. That though he makes a very deep and sincere, earnest relationship with one person on the uh, on the show. I am so scared. Is that Mr. Beast? <laughs> Everybody, stop fighting. <laughs> I think that's Mr. Beast. <laughs> He's just calling attention to himself. <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> we know. Yeah, we thought you were doing it because of the show. <laughs> hey, guys. I actually have a break. Go. Oh, it's already on right oh, side. Shit. Hey, let's check in on 067. In the show, you won. So let's see if it works here. And Carl, we have 067. You should just lose. Carl, no, give him motivation. Oh. oh. It's over here. That was here. really fun. It crossed. That was fun. Sure, I've never watched a Mr. Beast video, but these are pretty entertaining. He knows what he's doing. He's draw. a funny oh, guy. Like, grab one from here and one from here. And then grab one from here. I mean, team obviously, right? It, it, versus it'd be, team number it, 10. It, it, he wouldn't yeah. be this successful without it. If I was you guys, I'd be terrified because they have four, five, six. He's literally the main character. Let's go! go. Three, two, yeah. one, go! Oh, oh, thank you. Long they form go. TikTok. Oh, it's good. That is an incredible way to describe it. He's going! Die. He jumped in, bro. That dude was like, fuck this, I'm tired. Watch this guy right here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I lost. Oh, my God. It does look fun, though. Obviously, we have no way of rigging it, but 456 and 067 both survived tug of war. Obviously, you have no way of rigging it. Oh, boy. Nine versus 11. <laughs> In this game oh with God. Team 9 versus Team 11, they went we have so no hard way of that this it. happened. They are going all out! Look at them! Bro, look at the fucking the beefy 11, boy! What the fuck? So look at this team, dude! So hard oh my God! They are going all out! Look at them! Holy oh God. Yeah, die! Oh You're just... Oh perish! Oh yeah. That's not close! Oh, they broke the set! They should die 
time for that. You guys can move on. Look at this guy. Look at this. Watch this guy. Watch this guy right here. He looks so lost. <laughs> oh, this is the best moment of that dude's life. You guys can move on. Go ahead. Now, the video has a d very different feel when Mr. Beast is drunk. Yeah. Togo War took us from 120 people down to 60. And this is Mr. Beast explaining it at the bar later that night. Remember, only one of these people is walking away with $456,000. How does that happen when you slow it down? How does everybody sound so drunk when you slow it down? It's insane. All right, everybody, we have your attention. As you guys know from Squid Games, game number four is marbles. Yeah! <laughs> I don't yeah. know if I'd be cheering, because instead of letting you pick your partner, we're gonna make you partner with your best friend. Throughout this entire challenge, we've been monitoring who you've been talking to the most, <laughs> and we're gonna make you partner up with them. And oh, oh no! no. You move on. For example, 067 and 431. That's my best friend. <laughs> oh, her god boo! According to this, you two are roommates and best friends. We How does he get all this info? We did our research. I have to come home to the house we live in at the end of the day. You're gonna be a bit awkward. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. Bro, he has the hat? <laughs> oh my god. We couldn't have done it without each other. I'm glad I'm with you at the end. Everybody gets a bag of 10 marbles, and they have to agree on a game to play it against their best friend. 20 marbles lets them move on, but by winning, they eliminate their best friend. Oh. Go ahead and start the timer. Wait, what game do they play, though? You can play whatever game you want. Or you need 20 to leave. A lot okay. of pairs went with marble games that were played in Squid Game. Yeah. Even? Odd or even? Even on the What? What game are you We don't know. One marble at a time is going to take all the... I was gonna and say, other what's the... God creative. What is this game? We're throwing it at the bricks, right? If you get the middle one right there, that's one point. But if you hit the brick in the behind, then it's three points. Everything else is no. I don't know any marble games. I know marbles. I can't think of two. Points until like the clock runs down. Whoever has the most points is the winner. All right. Well, good luck with your game. But one group just wanted to get it over with. You're doing even odds for all of them. Yo, he looks so intense. He's got one more. Sure. Oh, he got it! Oh my god. Die. Congratulations. Oh my god, dude, it dribbles out. Oh, he got it. This looks like hot grease. Wait, is that CG? <gasps> It is! That smoke is CG! Wow! Movie magic. Watch it dribble out here. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. Congratulations on winning. I'll see you in the next round. That's smart, dude. You're good, buddy. You're good, okay? Would they get a volleyball? We promised each other we were not gonna like screw each other over. I didn't even know we were gonna be this close. I'm doing this for my family, but I'm nervous. <laughs> Best man's gonna win. Best man win, man. Best man's gonna win. Everybody got five minutes. Dude, there's too much money on the line here. I would be pissed. This is like fun and games, but like. They want to put $465,000 up to a coin flip. You have to make it sound like that, huh? <laughs> Tails. Oh, man. It's Tails! Yo! Oh. Die! Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'll give you the honor of eliminating oh, your best no, friend. <laughs> Dude, I would love to watch Squid Game with this music. Ah. Oh. This is so jovial. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Before I eliminate you, I want to let the viewers know that this someone random that subscribes in the next seven days is getting $10,000. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, okay? Can How I would you know oh, that? Right there. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't fall. They're so... Can you track that? Guys, you heard Mr. B. Somebody that subscribes to my channel in the next seven days is getting $10,000. He's talking about my channel. Go ahead and subscribe below. Make sure you're in the running.
Dramatic. So if you haven't already, subscribe if you can win 10 grand. What game are we playing? A minute and 15 seconds remain. When that hits zero, if you're in here, you're eliminated. Cut to take over. What do you mean? You're literally I'm both about to get eliminated. Oh. What was that? Why'd you do that? You sure? Yeah. He has been eliminated. Thank you, sir. I love you, man. What a noble sacrifice. Do you just go the full content on this? Zero. Everyone in and here just try eliminated. to be remembered in the Mr. Beast video. Congratulations the funny on guy. surviving Marvel. Bro, eliminated. she's gonna win. She's gonna win. Look at her. They keep showing her. And she's got the number. They're, they're, she's winning, bro. She's winning. Congratulations on surviving. Oh, she died? Oh. I thought she was the one that won. Surviving marbles. At this point in the real show, there was an all out brawl to Well, her the friend numbers. might win. So her friend might win. Play her you friend have to use might this win. This blue piece of paper to flip that red one on the ground by throwing it. The first 16 of you to flip your red square moves on to Glass Bridge, which is personally my favorite game. Wait, 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 why are they doing this? Giving marbles. At this point in the real show, there was an all out brawl to thin the numbers. Uh -huh. So instead, we're gonna play dachi. You have to use oh, this cool. blue piece okay. of paper to flip Neat. that red one on the ground by throwing it. The first 16 of you to flip your red square moves on to Glass Bridge, which is personally my favorite his game. His shoes, Everyone he has the whole throw. cosplay, but the shoes? Wait, where are his shoes? Oh wow, we didn't even get anyone. And while they're fighting for their chance in this competition, I wanna tell you guys about Brawl Stars. Let's go! This video, which cost over three and a half million dollars. Please Thank tell me so about much. Brawl Stars. Right. Brawl Stars is a mobile game you can play at home, oh on the God. go, in this arena, wherever you want, against millions of people across the world. I unironically love sponsor reads in the middle of videos. I love them. They're so funny. Oh, we got them. They're so funny to me. Congratulations. It's three minutes of adrenaline-filled mayhem, and they have 12 different game modes, including their own battle. I mean, I skip them, because obviously, but I think they're fascinating. Why don't you do this? I would if I got offers. Might have one coming up soon. You'll see. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I just want to see his shoes now. I never see his shoes. Nine winners so far, which means only seven places Poor. remain. Do you, you said you played Brawl Shut Stars. Shut up. Oh, you both played Brawl Stars? What are your thoughts on Brawl Stars? That's pretty fun. It's a mobile game. You can download it on Android or Apple. I didn't um, tell him to say this. He did not play Brawl Stars. He didn't know anything about the game. <laughs> he knew nothing oh, about that game. Whoa. As you can see, you what are his shoes? All stars logo. He did it. They have over fifty I different see characters them. you can play. Stop from talking a about Brawl Stars. You are leaving with two thousand dollars for free today. Every single are they the Yeezys? They I think they are. Right? Brawl Stars in the next seven they days. Look like I will butter. personally be giving you a free prize. So if you haven't already, go download it. If you yell thank you, yes, that is what it is. Yeah. Bro, they gave him $3.5 million. You Brawl Stars Incredible. before you throw, I hear you'll flip it. Thank you, Brawl Stars! <laughs> for him! Oh my god, it's true! Thank you, Brawl Stars. <laughs> and for the 14 of you that didn't flip it, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. Oh, that was so in sync. Oh my gosh. Now, can all of you winners turn around? I wonder Thank how many you. people he convinced to And now you can dude. turn around again. We just filled the room with 16 different mannequins. And here's the thing. They're actually in a random order. And the numbers on them are in Korean. And the number they get here is what order they have to cross in Glass Bridge. In a timely and orderly oh, fashion, God. you can all go. Okay. Does anyone actually know? First come, first serve. What'd you what would you want, though? Do you want to go early or late? Late? Yeah, but no, if you go late, then... I mean, like, the idea is obviously late, right? You don't want to go first. But, like, if you go last, you're kind of fucked, right? You get? Oh, she got one! You can't oh, go last. Okay. Two! Oh. All right, hey, you want to just go ahead and leave now? <laughs> Everyone has the best with numbers. Let's go to Glass Bridge. Bottom four. We yeah. are now at the Glass so. Bridge set, and look at how insane this thing looks. <laughs> it is amazing. And... Dude, the giant Brawl Stars logo is killing at me the glass bridge in the set. background. Look at how Why wasn't this in the show, dude? We should have had some corporate logo in the background, really, to drive the point home. This can't be real. Is fucking circus tent with a chandelier? A big-ass Pepsi. <laughs> I, dude, I want more of this. I really do. 
I don't care what it says about society. I don't care about capitalist critiques. I love this shit. How insane this thing looks. It is amazing. Oh my god. And bring out the contestants. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god. Players, Jesus welcome Christ, to Glass dude. Bridge. There's he made a big deal about building it all practically. On. Good for him. You and one Good will hold lord. You. Start the timer. Begin the challenge. Okay. Woo. Let's go, girl. I'm sticking with it, guys. I'm Got sticking with it. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. All right. She survived yeah. the first jump. That sound effect okay, is killing me. Okay, they are one for one so far. Go right. I'm always right. Okay. I don't know if I'd listen to Chris. Chris, this is on you. Hey, victory. Wow. Oh, die. What? We had Wait. our first loss. If you're wondering where she just fell, don't yeah. worry. There's a giant foam pit down there. She's fine. Bro. What? That's for the children. They, they probably like did some testing on this. You know what I mean? What's it called? Demo testing? I forget what it's called. But they they showed it to, to some kids, and they forgot to put that part in. And they were like, <laughs> focus testing. That's it. They definitely focus tested that with kids, and the kids started crying. Started hitting the red button. <laughs> I don't like that. Where did she go? Well, now, now you know. Now you know left. Come on, 13 minutes, guys. <sighs> we now have three people on the platform. Only one out so far. So it doesn't yeah, break moving. through I totally. I want somebody past eight to take the next step. Eight. Past eight? I, I love that, yo. Hey, three minutes has gone by. Is anybody willing to go? Clock's ticking. Oh, the line. Oh. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Come on, man, you got this. Come on, Ted. Contest. Whoosh! Yes! Now go, two! Go, go. Now you go! Alright. Come on, two! You got this! I'll take the next one. Alright, bro. Damn! Ugh. They're friends! Come on, four, five, let's go! Let's go! Life gone gone food! Let's go, two! Yeah, oh, you already knew that! Real glass would be a massive safety oh. hazard? Well, I didn't think it would be glass, but I thought it would break through as they jumped onto it, you know what I mean? Like it would fall through, but that's still unsafe, right? You're gonna fuck oh. up your knee. You see how many I've gotten? Take the next one. How many did you guess right? Three. Three. Yeah. Bro, how wow. big is now, this? Honestly, Hold on. I've gotten. Take the next one. How many? This is way more than on the show, right? That's way too many. That's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, at least twenty. Did you guess right? Three. Oh my three. God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, honestly, it's time someone else steps up. Hey, every second somebody doesn't step up, that's less time you got. Hey, if no one crosses, I just keep the money. All right, three, went for it. Die. Oh, he oh. just got eliminated. All right, two, he took the L for you. Hey, do you think two? Hey, honestly, hey, two, if you're three for three, you might as well keep going. Clearly, you're lucky. Oh, Poor two. God. Two's dead. All right. Two's no dead. No pushing, obviously. So Die. Oh. Oh. Two bit the bullet. What do you mean, Two's no gone. pushing? Under it's eight like minutes. Didn't you, you watch the show? Ground to cover. Yeah, he's good. Woo! Mr. Beast Woo! didn't watch it. Enough. I don't he understand, doesn't understand why number 10 went in front of everyone. That was dumb. Come on, buddy. Yo, did 10 make it again? All right, looks like number four is going to go. Six minutes remaining. <sighs> what if Dude, none of them the make girls. it? I guess he just adds time. People. Nobody would know. Movie magic. All right, continue. Under five minutes left. Tons of jumps. This is gonna get intense. Double the pot if oh, you got it. That's what I did. Oh, oh no. tens go. No. Another one gone. Uh -uh. I don't move. I don't move. Uh -uh. I'm not moving. Yo, uh -uh. don't look good back here right now. Uh, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. All right, just like we thought would happen, they were refusing to move. Let's see who oh, budges. God. I'm pretty good where I'm. Got it. He's dead. Oh, he got it! Oh, he made it! Alright! Oh, oh, not a chance! What are y'all big numbers? Take a chance! Under three minutes with four jumps left. Come this on, is compelling! I'm, real bad spot. I'm not moving. What are y'all big numbers? Take a leap of faith! Yeah, you knew back there, 15. Whatever, I man. hope that we dude wins. Lose. You guys better hurry up! They have two minutes. Why are they not rushing? If you go, I'll take the next ones. Alright. Dude, I'm... it's gonna be like three uh, people here at the end. Y'all really got me scared, but hold up, bro. This is a real life decision. 90 seconds! One and go. a half There's minutes. gonna be nobody come on, left. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Bro, look at this guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> he looks so sick of this. This guy is killing me. I saw him in some of the other shots, and he just looks so tired of this shit. He just wants to be done. He's trying to go home. <laughs> He's so scared. Like, he hasn't smiled at all. Please. I don't want to die. Come on, come on, come on. Six. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> that 
jump. I hope he dies. Okay. I'm not moving. No, this is God telling me I'm not moving. One minute remaining. Three jumps, one minute. Sharon, go. Sharon, go. Hey, you good. guys He's in good. the back. If you're not here when it hits zero, you're gone. He actually right, has death to pay off. No, I'm going to stay right here and be cozy. Hurry. Go. Y'all go. Go, bro. In 40 on, seconds. I, I can't jump. They're in my way. They're in <laughs> Wait, my way. can you do this? Bro, they're huddling on the platform? There's like five people on that. How sturdy is this? They're all what the fuck? On it on that one. Hey, Bro, I'm seconds. pushing. I'm pushing go, go. at this go, go. point. Go, take a leap of faith. Go, go, go. go. One, more. Oh. one more jump. Oh. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. One, more oh. one more. I already jumped. I'm oh. not jumping. I'm go left. Jumping. Left champ. Hey. Left champ. Hey. Left champ! Dude, no way. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Let me go watch their fight. I'm gonna play the footage in slow mo for the viewers. As you can see, the oh, timer is no. on zero, and there were four people still clearly on the platform oh, when the no. timer hit zero. The four people were 16, 8, 13, and 5. Alright, so the four losers, can you jump off? Just Die! Go. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. <laughs> You're eliminated. Get out of here. Thank you for coming out. Oh no! The protagonist! He's gone! No! My gun boo! I had him going all the way! Son of a bitch, the loud white guy's gonna win. <laughs> oh no! That's not him? It's not? Wait, 208. That was him, right? Wasn't that the guy? Four, five, six? No, hold on. No, the guy that was on the thing. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, it's because I said protagonist. You, I was talking about the face guy that made the face. Okay, you guys are fucking weird, bro. Don't be weird, okay? Yesterday, I said something about Black Friday and people got weird. Chat, relax. <laughs> Don't be weird. Because then you get weird and then other people get weird. Okay? Let's just, let's take it easy. You said protagonist. He's the protagonist of this viewing. Not of the show. You're being weird. Oh, Engage sub only. Oh. I'm close, bro. All right, all right, so the four losers. That's my Eliminated. protagonist. Jump. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. You're eliminated. Wait. Get out of here. This guy right here. The guy that clearly just wanted to go home. That's my guy. Thank you for coming out. And all of He's you dead now. Are on to the I don't know who the. No, it's not Mr. Four hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. Let's go. Congratulations on making it to the top six. To celebrate, we made you all steak dinners. Now, unlike the show, this isn't a real knife. This is plastic. But you do have steak. Everyone, make sure you <laughs> they, eat they, up so you have, they, they, have plenty mind. of energy for this <laughs> final game. I'm thinking about winning never all mind. of that money right now. I'm going to probably give most of it to my family, friends. That money's coming home with me. Dude, that steak looks awful. That steak looks terrible. Giving 100K straight to my mama. I'm feeling great. Ew. It's like a steak you get at Friendly's. CGI steak. Listen, bro, it's all practical. All practical. So it's probably like horse meat. <laughs> Had to save costs somehow. All the budget went into the glass bridge. We are now serving you... <laughs> serving uh, Greyhound. I'm just blessed to be here. I'm going to pull through. I'm definitely donating about 10000 to Team C's, which all of you should so if you funny. have the means. I won't fold on no pressure. I'm not worried about none of these files. Ain't nobody got nothing on me, so I'm good. You want to just go settle this with... Who wins? Hmm. Give most of it to my family. Not feeling him. Friends. That money's coming home with me. Serving the previous contestants. Me giving a hundred K straight to my mama. No, I don't think so. I'm feeling great. It's just blessed to be. Wait, four, five, six is like the show guy, right? 
No way he wins. Be here. I'm going to pull through. I'm definitely donating about 10,000 to Team C's, which all of you should. Bro, 10,000 out of 460 something K. All right. Should, if you have the sure, means. Sure. I won't fold on no pressure. I'm not worried about none of these. Not flaws. this dude. Ain't nobody got nothing on me, so I'm good. You wanna that guy's gone. Why didn't we hear from this guy? We heard from everybody else but him. I got the pro tag, bro. I got four, Let's five, Let's just go six. settle this with the final game. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I got Let's four, five, it. six. Let's do it. Welcome to the final game of Beast Games. So I think you guys can piece together what we're about to play. Musical, Musical chairs. chairs. Musical chairs, yeah. Why? Let's test my hypothesis. Raise your hand if you know how to play Squid Game. Exactly. That's why we're doing Musical uh, Chairs okay. instead, because we're not Koreans. That's, <laughs> that's a good idea. That's a good, that, that honestly, good point. Good point. Because on the show, they, like, kill each other. This is a great point for liability. Although, if we're talking $456,000, I might get violent. I might push somebody off a chair, dude. Musical chairs is dangerous, yeah. I might hurt somebody for that much money. Start, sir. They're cuffed? <laughs> Oh, good, good. Honestly, that's for everyone's sake. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's an excellent idea. You still have elbows and a head, though. Definitely just go dunk. <laughs> Break someone's nose. Ruin the video for Mr. Beast. $3.5 million. Are you going to use the content now? You had to build all this. Sorry I broke somebody's nose on camera. Please give me my money. You know? What's he gonna do? You can't cancel the video. Start the music. Carl, you can stop it whenever you want. Carl, do not look. Chris, don't look. Carl isn't looking, so we can't be biased. All right, let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, he got it. I got more, man. Yeah, I'm he's pretty way sure. more. I'm sorry about that. Oh, Damn, that was no. the quiet dude who didn't say anything. Bring the That's why he didn't say here. anything. Hop on in the coffin. He has officially <laughs> been eliminated and five remain. What the fuck? All right, get in the coffin. You're dead now. All right, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, they could do this for everybody, I guess, you know? That would be very expensive unless they use the same coffin for all 456 of them. Oh, dude. Don't they cremate those? Yes. Oh, that's funny. And eliminated in five. No way, way, four, this chair is now gone. Carl, start the music. No way. Okay. You have full three. Oh. Oh, oh no. Hold on. Hold on. No more moving. Come over here, Tariq. Nah, why'd you get oh, up? No. Why'd he get up? He Yo. had it. Nah, he had it. He had it. At least he is honest. No, no. Oh my gosh. And while they're What do you mean? You had it, dude. Hold on. Well. Wait. Bro, he's got at least 30 pounds on that kid. I'm just saying. Damn, look at the leg hook. Bro, this dude's in it to win it. He hooked his leg around. So give me this fucking chair. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying, if I'm the big dude with the Charlotte's, or the Charlotte, what is that, the Hornets hat? I'm snapping that dude's tibia. Just, <clears throat> I'm shifting my weight in such a way, you will never run again. You're gone. <laughs> do, do the back of the ooh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dude, he gave it up. He gave it up for no reason. This was an ignoble sacrifice. He didn't have to do this. Oh. If 456 wins, I'm disliking the video. Hold on. Hold on. No more moving. I mean, Mr. Come Beast will never three. know. Oh. He'll never know. Oh. Yo. He had it. Nah, he had it. He had it. At least he is honest. Oh my gosh. And while they're coughing him up, play the music. Okay, wait. So they got 2000 for beating the first challenge. Does it scale? They haven't mentioned money in a while. It's got to scale, right? Okay. 
The music has begun. No. Four hundred and fifty-six thousand oh, dollars on the line. It's about to happen at any second. Oh, man. oh you said. Oh no! Wait, Wait. He sat early. He said early. Carl did not stop <gasps> the music. Bring out the coffin. I'm gonna have to pop it. Man, that's such a sad way to go out. That's not a rule in musical chairs, is it? Is that a rule? I've never heard of that. Those are house rules. Dude, he's legitimately furious. Oh, dude, he's not smiling or la- <laughs> Look at that! Bruh. <laughs> Look at his <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude, old sitting ass. Old sitting ass. Oh, man. He's, he's actually angry. Honestly, if I'm him, I'm salty as hell, dude. That song is not clear when it's over. This <laughs> piece is just having a chuckle. The coffin. I'm gonna have to pop it. Man, that's such a sad way to go out. It was a great journey. I loved it. It was so fun. Hop on in the coffin. All right, now no, you can't dead. say this is scripted. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Oh God. The music has started. Three people, two chairs, one must go. Don't let the oh. loud guy win, bro. Oh. Keep it moving. No, you gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh! Oh no! Okay. Yes, yes. Down yeah, to the final they two. They were against me. They were against me, oh bro. Oh my god! They plotted on me. You have been eliminated. <laughs> Open up. The Never mind. Coffin. I like Thank this guy. He's funny. Thank you for coming funny. out, man. No problem. Yeah, I loved your energy. At the start Goodbye, of this Jersey video, Greg. we had 456 people, and now we're down to these two. Yeah! Okay. Dude. I'm gonna take this chair right here. How do you here. do musical chairs with you two guys people? Gotta keep you could jump over the chair. In the entire time, no stopping and hover. Prediction? No, I can't. We can't do a prediction because I, people have seen this and they can cheat. You could predict whether I guess right if you want, but that's the closest. You know. All right, hold on. Let me make it. That's as good as we could do. Bro, I really have another bounty for Legends of Rune Terra. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why do they keep shilling this game? Do it? No! No! I did it once and I barely got money. <laughs> All right. All right, submission period is going to be 30 seconds. Very quickly, okay? Three, two, one, go. Do I get it right? 30 seconds. I'm not going to tell you who I think it is yet. Hmm. 30 seconds. It's dead 50-50. It's a literal coin flip. Oh, man. Look at that. 865K say yes. 711K say no. Okay. I think... Personally, you're stupid. You ain't getting it. What do you mean I'm stupid? What intelligence goes into this? What could I possibly have learned during my life, my time on this planet, to guess this? Come on. Be nice. I got... My brother would have been in this, but he wasn't vaccinated when Mr. B sent him the message. And even though he said he would get vaccinated, he wasn't invited to go. Society, bro. Society. Makes you think. 330 wins. 330 wins. Vaccine diff. <laughs> Jab diff. 330 wins. Three. This will determine which one of you wins 456 grand. Carl, kick the oh, music no. on. Hey, let it let it play a little bit, Carl. Wait. Let's let him. Let's Did let you him guys spoil it. Carl's not looking at them. He has oh, no idea no. where they are on the chair. 
Somebody's gonna get $456,000 because you paused the music. Oh boy. Oh, this is on the intensity. When will he pause it? When's he gonna pause it? Look at, dude, 79 just has better form. My bad, believers. My bad. My bad. How could I have known? How could I have known? He just has better form. Look at the way he's sneaking behind him. Look at this little... He's like sneaking up behind him, bro. Yo! Yes! 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 Oh, my God! Dude, 330 had shitty form. He was so slow. Let me give you $10,000 for coming in second place. Oh, you're kidding me. No. And with that 079, you just won $456,000. So and officially won the How did the you get that wrong? It's a coin flip! It was down the center. How could I have known? What game in real life ever. What do you mean? Congratulations on winning. No way that's already. real Hit money. the subscribe button. You have seven days to win $10,000. Who is that guy that called me stupid? He was right. I can't believe he was right. How did he know? And obviously, massive shout out to the creator of Squid Game. We took huge inspiration from the show and I- Did you? Genuinely appreciate you. Huge Goodbye. inspiration? What do you mean inspiration? Wait, this video sounds funny. Last to leave the circle wins 500. Oh, dude, that sounds funny. Am I just a fucking- Am I a Mr. Beast channel now? Oh, God, I'm hooked. I enjoy Mr. Beast, not gonna lie. This is my first Mr. Beast video. I've never watched him before. He's entertaining, dude. He's good. He has good stuff, bro. It's the same video every single time. <laughs> I believe it. I don't think I could watch him forever. But this is, he's a king, bro. Coney is 12 confirmed. Listen, I'm just tapped into the youth of America. Beast reacting. Bro, you know what? I learned a lot from watching this. And I learned so much about society, bro. Like, you know, it's kind of like we're all kind of in a squid game. When you think about it, you know. And I think Mr. Beast really showed that. That we're all together in this squid game. You know. Subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Say bye, chat. <laughs> bye, chat. Say bye, YouTube. Goodbye. I have no yeah. idea if this is going up. I'm just going to do it. Should have just. What's? I can't read that. I can't read that. We're saying bye. I don't know if this is going up. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. Okay, we're popping the bounty. Guys, 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 guys. Look at this. Look at this. I can't believe this is what I'm doing. This is insane. Guys, please stick around. It's only 15 minutes. This is only 15 minutes. Okay. It is only 15 minutes. And then we're going to do something else. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have a bounty. I have $50 to spend at AmericanEagle.com. I have a gift card for $50 that we all get to spend at American Eagle. We get to shop the hottest trends and the coolest threads. Let's go ahead and see what they have on display. Now, the, the, the title says 500 Unfortunately, it is a typo. It's $50. Let's see what they have in store. <laughs> Swimsuits. <laughs> Buy jeans? I have $50. I could afford one pair of jeans. A single pair, you think? What do I, like... Where do I even start? Click maps? Dude, I don't think click maps works, though, anymore. Let me see. Let me try to get click, click maps working. Oh, that would be good. No way. Yeah, click maps doesn't even work anymore, dude. Let me try to make it work. Maybe if I uninstall it and then reinstall it. One sec. Let me try that. 
I bet if I do it this way. Oh no, dude, click maps is dead. No way. Wait, it's not dead. Wait, I'm going to uninstall it and reinstall it. Here we go. Okay. Got it. We're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. One sec, one sec, one sec. One sec. I have to uninstall and reinstall. One second, just one second. We're going to go shopping. Let's go! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold. I have to change the link. All right, guys. Where are we going? Try. Let's go! It's working. Underwear. We're going for underwear? You think? Don't click on me. Don't click on me. Guys, I have $50 to spend at American Eagle. And we have 15 minutes to shop. So let's use this wisely, okay? Shop underwear, okay? Got it. Ooh la la. Where? Oh God, how do I even do this? <laughs> Wants to know your location. No thanks. Thank you, JK Smash. 20? Oh my God, 20 gift subs. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I didn't notice the 20. Jeez, thank you. All right, how do I... Which one do I get? Guys, I like, I like briefs. I don't like boxers. Okay, how about this? Click on what you want, okay? Clicking on me means scroll down, okay? Go. See, I like briefs. Click on me means scroll down to find more. Like this one? Trunk under ho oh, briefs. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. That's pretty good. Click on the X. There is no X. Oh, there is. What? I don't know why I, don't know why I did that. Oh, that's because it's full screen. Okay. Briefs, Cody, stop. What do you mean briefs are great? Do you wear boxers? Are you a boxer? Is that what you are? Why would you ever wear boxers? They're so loose. All right, restarting. Bro, I like these. Can I have these? Can I have these? Click on these. I like these. I like the lights. Can I have these? Let's go! Thank you, chat. But wait, I need the... I need No, but I need the brief version. This is a boxer short. Is there a brief version? Oh, there's not? Oh, dude, there's not even that much here. Whatever. Quick shop, add to bag. And I'm a medium, not a small, like chat thinks. Sent. Okay. The penguin? Where's the penguin? What? Stalker Santa? What? Uh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> what the. Why did you do that, American Eagle? Scroll all the way up. Where's the penguin? <gasps> oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, no, I don't like these, actually. That's not it? Scroll down. What? What? Scroll down. <laughs> no way you're going to make me buy this. Click Ag to Bag. And I'll buy it. Don't click the penis. Don't click the penis part. Stop asking for my location. Alright, it's in the bag. This is $14. Alright, $28 to... Oh my god. Wait. The fuck? <laughs> oh 
Why does this exist? Why does this exist? What the fuck? I'll get the light. <laughs> Does anybody buy these? Can I have anything other than underwear, guys? <laughs> Please. Is it just underwear? Hats? Guys, surely there are hats, right? Come on. Let's find hats. What gifts can we find? Let's v visit American Eagle's gift section. Oh, it's just flannels? And moose? These are all expensive, bro. Nah, this isn't as fun. Candy cane. Ugh. I don't like how realistic that looks. Oh, Snoopy! I mean, like, these are all good, right? But, like, I don't want any of these for 50 bucks total, right? Like, I have a $50 gift card, you know what I mean? These all look very comfy, especially this. I'm a sucker for this color with this color scheme. Oh, this actually looks good. I like that a lot. I like the green. I've never been in an American Eagle. Me neither. Because it's like early 20s clothing. And here I am. But it looks nice. Oh, his jeans are broke. Oh, he should return those. Only hot people can go inside. Yeah. Yeah, I've had an issue with that. These are on clearance. Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're recently viewed. Okay. Shop men clearance. A shirt. Surely I can get something on clearance. What is this? Oh, this is a miss. What the hell is this? This patchwork? There was a PlayStation shirt? Was there? Here in clearance? This is our time customizable shirt <laughs> with markers. Hold on. Yeah, let's sort by by price, low to high. What else could Oh, that was that. Secox lollipop pen, a no touch tool, body spray, and then a bunch of underwear. Wait, ghosts? Those don't look like ghosts. These do not look like ghosts to me, personally. I mean, I guess a lot of them will end up going becoming ghosts, right? <laughs> $14 for the super soft icon t-shirt. Not bad. Not bad. Not quite my tempo. Low to high. Bro, I like these. Oh, dude, these are excellent. This one's for me. I like these. Pretty flowers. I want I want some myself. That's for me. I like that. Surf stretch box money boxer. <laughs> oh my god. Why does the <sighs> This is so Spencer's. Why is that there? Pay out. Stop smelling the money. <laughs> it's weird now. I don't like that anymore. Secure a different kind of bag. Trail mix? A bucket hat? I could change my whole identity. I'm now in a ska band. <laughs> Bro, I need a hat. I need this is the only hat. Oh, it's the only hat in clearance. 
I was going to say, this is the one. What is gifts in tech? They have tech? A tinsel tree headband. Friends, guys playing cards. Shilling gum ball need dough? What? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> These are like prizes on Chloe. They're so cute. Baby Yoda AirPods case. Ugh. Dog clothes! <gasps> Happy birthday. That's cute. I'll pay off from the prediction after this. I'm too busy looking at hats. Where are the hats? Hats? Accessories? Hats are accessories. Yeah. Beanies, 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 gloves, socks. Boring. Not as exciting. I need something like this. If it was, oh wait, they're cool, but they look nice. I love the colors. I didn't expect them to be flat, which I don't prefer. Okay. These are wicked, bro. These look nice. I'm close to being influenced. Bro, if you're going to shop, Black Friday soon. Huh? Almost Black Friday. Oh, my God. Gifts under $10. <laughs> Striped camp dad sock. Oh, I thought it was like the whole outfit. Gamer section? Wait. <laughs> Did it say that? Is it in collections? I found the gamer section. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god! Wait, please. Game always on. Oh, dude, it's gamer clothes! Let's go! Finally! Something for us! PlayStation! That's it, just PlayStation. Dude, that shoe looks comfy. Wait. That looks mad comfy. But not for $75. No, I only got 50, bro. Maybe on clearance. I'd like a nice pair of slippers. They don't have slippers. Never mind. What is the gamer section? It just ends immediately. 2K? <laughs> they have 2K. And PlayStation. And that's it. That's the gamer spot. Man. I mean, they look comfy. A lot of briefs in the gamer section. <laughs> oh, God. Too hype. I don't know who Too Hype is. But good for them for securing American Eagle. Should we get something for Mal? Let's see. Gifts for her. What would she like? Sweaters, sweaters, clothes, clothes. Ooh! I'm a girl now. I want to wear this. Bro, that looks comfy. And it's pretty. Dude. I'm throwing it in the bag. That's for Mel. Sick. There we go. Thank you, American Eagle. I'll wear it. Hell yeah, I'll wear it first. Be like, honey, I got this for you. Boot a gender in clothing. Dude, I have a story for that after this bounty, which is over in one minute. I will tell you a story about gendered clothing in a second. Uh, dude, there's so many, I feel like there's so much more women clothes, right? All right, we got to find something in a minute for Mal. How did you find the gamer section? Where even is that? 
Oh, there it is, men's. What is real good? What's the real good collection? See, my problem with American Eagle is that they have American Eagle on everything. I don't like, like, the branding being all over. But I'll give it up for this. This one's a little bit more subtle, right? That's not bad. I could, get, I could go for, like, this maybe. Like, a really subtle, you know what I mean? I'd be down for that. Well, I'm going to keep looking. And I'm going to find $50 worth of something. And guys, if you're so inclined, check out American Eagle. And do your shopping. Black Friday is just around the corner. As is Christmas. Be sure to check out American Eagle. Do we get anything? No. You don't get anything. Bounty's done. <laughs> I cannot believe that was a bounty. They gave me a $50 gift card. Insane. What am I going to buy at American Eagle? I'm 33. I mean, I'll look, right? I'll look. We're going to be cold this Christmas. <laughs> oh. Story time. Oh, it's not really a big story. It was when I went to Disneyland. I kept uh, trying. I, I kept finding clothes that I loved, but they were always women's clothes. Like guys' clothes are so boring at Disneyland, but I think it's because they're appealing to like the dads there that are like, my kids call me grumpy, and then a picture of like grumpy. You know what I mean? You can wear them even if they're for women. No, 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 I know. But, like, a lot of them are really differently sized and proportioned. So they don't, like, look good on me. Right? Thank you, Ayano. Sorry, somebody submit uh, a drawing that they made on Twitter and I missed it because I was too busy shilling. Sorry if I missed it. Maybe they tagged me. Let me look. <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> I look mean. Bro, look at me. Is that me? Is that me there? <laughs> I look mean, bro. That's a good drawing. I'll give it up for this one. That's nice. Well done, Bullen. No hard feelings on the teeth. I had the same gap. I Do I have a big gap? A little. I guess so. Slightly. The gap the gap is more like it's a little bit it's subtle. It's subtle. I know it's there, but it's a little bit subtle. Right? You know? Coney, look at this clothing site I found. Is this real? Short and fat. It's real. So it's like big and tall, but the opposite. Good for them. Honestly, dude, wearing clothes sucks. As a guy, it's so hard to know if something is going to fit me or look good on me. I'm also in that spot between, uh, I'm in that spot between medium and large where I'm extra medium. You know what I mean? Which sucks. I hate it. The Walmart medium. <laughs> yes. That's a very good way to put it. Oh, my Homer shirt came. <laughs> it looks like shit, but I love that design. It's upstairs. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. Oh, that's funny. All right, I've got another bounty, which I just took. I might do it later. Depends on how viewership goes. Maybe I'll do it Sunday. Do I have time? It stays on for five days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep, I'm good. I'll be on Sunday. Another bounty? Hell yeah. It's not Runeterra. It's a minute. It's a commercial. So. Mm 
You made my way weak. You literally carried me through my lunch breaks at college. That, you're, that was a great drawing. I love it. Thank you for making that. I'm a big fan. Continue to do so. It's so weird when people say that. That like, you know, they watch me during breaks and stuff. Because I used to go out into my car and uh, like listen to YouTube and like nap. And, like, the fact that there's probably college students out there doing that with me is so weird, dude. You know what I mean? And shit post on Twitter. Not out my car. I would do that at work when I was supposed to be working. I had, an, I had, a, I had, a, I had a window cubicle so I could hear somebody coming and I would immediately put my phone away. But I worked very little at that job. All right, uh, let me pick the prediction thing. Sorry, I didn't realize it was... Uh, Still didn't get paid out. Send it. I listen to How Did We Get Here all the time. Dude, so on How Did We Get Here today, we had a topic about... We were talking about Randy Savage, right? Which is like something I wanted to talk about forever. And somehow we started talking about Jesus. And we were like, what if Jesus was just like the first amazing magician? Like Chris Angel. And he just mind freaked people. And now we're all just praising, like, a master illusionist. You know? And I know that joke has probably happened before. Uh, I know we're not the first to think of that, but I thought it was pretty funny. By the way, I realized also, uh, nobody has made this joke. And I don't know what the what the what the setup is, but I know what the punchline is. But I've never seen anybody make this joke. I'm gonna give it to you. I thought of it when I was uh, when we were on a road trip, me and some people with Panda for something we're filming the other day. You ready? Gianon, like QAnon, but it's Ganon. There's your punchline. I don't know where the joke is. But there's something there. You can you can do something with that. That sucks. No, it doesn't. I gave you an uncooked chicken, and you're like, wow, this sucks. I can't eat it. Yeah, you have to cook the fucking chicken, moron. I gave you a beautiful grade A steak. Cook it. Do your own jokes. Doesn't Ganon have the big, world's biggest harem? He's the only male. Yeah, there's something there. I don't know. You guys figure out the particulars. I don't know. Animation humor. <laughs> Actually, yeah. That definitely sounds like a joke in like a, a Smash Bros. taunts video. You're right. Fuck me. You're right. You're right. I'm a 15-year-old on YouTube now. Fuck. No, you're right. That sucks. <laughs> That's definitely pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's true. Is the Twitter ever going to be real? It's still suspended. Dude, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. We tried logging into it, and every time we log in, it gets suspended again. I don't know. You, your Twitter's holding us down. We keep trying to fix it, but... Whatever. What happened? We don't know. We never posted on it. We made the Twitter and we only followed us two. And uh, people found it even before we started the show. They found it and a bunch of people started following it. And what we think happened is because he has such a big fan base, people were like, oh shit. And they like flooded onto it. And so it was an account with a billion followers. Not even a billion, but a lot of followers with no posts or anything. So they think that's why they suspended it. What's this account for? It's for the podcast that Alpha Red and I do together. Called How Did We Get Here? Which you can find on Spotify and iTunes and all the other places. Probably set off a bot flag, yeah. All right, next thing we're doing tonight. Okay. Again, I don't know how much of this is going to go on YouTube. 
I'm trying to farm YouTube stuff, reactions, because we have to, because I'm going to be gone for a week. By the way, I'm going to be gone for a week from the 1st to the 8th. I hope you all miss me. Prime now so you don't miss it. Uh, I'm going to have to leave because we're going to uh, CEO. We're going to Orlando. So, yeah. And I'm going to Disney with my family. The decay is going to be brutal. I mean, like, I've, I've survived worse, right? I was at 3,200, I think. And I got down to, like, 2,600. I'm probably going to dip below 2K. So, whew. That's tough. When's Coney's Christmas? Poor Coney. Coney, I'm going to see you at CEO. Maybe I can get an autograph? Yeah, dude. You don't have to ask me. I'll sign whatever you put in front of me, bro. I'm not going to question it. I'm just like... Just do, just shove it there and just be like, sign this. I'll be like, hell yeah. You got it. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to watch... So, there has been a story that keeps coming up on the stream somehow. I don't know how. Somehow, this thing keeps finding its way onto my stream. And I don't know any of the facts of it. I don't know how this happened. Uh, or, or what the thread is. But I don't know anything about Balloon Boy. <laughs> Balloon Boy keeps coming up on the stream. Was it real? Was it fake? Was the boy trapped in the balloon? Was he not? A lot of you don't even know what I'm talking about. No, so there was a kid that was stuck in a weather balloon. Hold on. Hold on, let me explain first. There's something called the balloon boy hoax. Okay, I searched for it and I got FNAF. <laughs> this. Apparently, this boy was stuck in this balloon. I don't know if it's true. I've heard that the boy was in the balloon and flying through the air. I've heard that it's not real and the boy was never in it. I've heard... Th this is scary. Jesus Christ. I've heard so many different things. Apparently, he's okay. There he is. But I've heard it's also not a hoax. I don't know what the straight story is. So I found one of the greatest uh, storytellers, one of the most trusted voices on the internet. One of the people you can actually trust to get all the facts. His name is Internet Historian. He knows what happened here. He was there for it, and I trust him to recount the story in great detail. So let's go ahead and enjoy this movie and see what we may have missed about the story. Because right now, I don't know shit. Let's give it a shot. Oh, right. I thought it was longer. Dude, I thought all of his videos were longer, but no. Concordia was just the only one that was like 40 minutes. I have not seen this video either. I will say that. I've seen a lot of his other stuff, but I have not seen this one. I'm actually curious, too. Good evening. I'm Mike Check, and tonight on Unsolved Internet Mysteries. Balloon Boy, here's the story you probably know. On October 15th, 2009, Falcon Heaney, six years old, Wait, hopped does he have subtitles? Oh, he does! Sick! ...into a balloon and was carried off into the air. Should I get out of the way? Do I move up? I'll move up. No, because then I'm going to block it. No, I can't do that. Subtitles are a crutch. True. We don't need them. For two hours and 60 miles, they're going to spoil it. Across the vistas of Colorado, eventually landing just shy of Denver International Airport. But when they opened up the saucer. Hold on, wait, go back. I didn't catch that. How far did he fly? On October 15th, 2009, Falcon Heaney, six years old, hopped into a balloon and was carried off into the air. 
For two hours and 60 miles, he traveled across the vistas of Colorado, <laughs> eventually landing just shy of Denver International Airport. He was six years old? Oh my God, dude. I didn't but know he was that young. The saucer, there was no boy. At first, it was feared that Falcon had fallen along the way, and a manhunt started to find the boy's body. <laughs> but after a couple of hours, Falcon wandered into the living room of the family home <laughs> and confessed that he had been hiding in a box in the attic of the garage. <laughs> it was one of the biggest news stories and memes of the year. Wait, really? It's that simple? That's the whole... That That's what happened? He just went to the attic and everybody thought he was in the balloon. <laughs> okay. I thought there was more to it because I saw all this. This was such a big deal back then, dude. During the event, Balloon Boy was also the most searched term on Google. Behind... Well, it beat Wife Swap, which is a show at the time, guys. That's not like an interest. Kid in Balloon. <laughs> Colorado News. Dude, they're everywhere. But it was an expensive game of hide and seek. Up to 50 rescue workers were involved, including two military helicopters, police, the Colorado National Guard, the Federal Aviation Administration, Why? ambulances, firefighters, and the balloon drifted so close to the airport that a bunch of flights had to be rerouted. <laughs> the total cost of the incident was estimated at $2 million. For what? Press flocked to the Heaney home. Get a and the rope. Family gave an interview on CNN. Pull it down. And then, this happened. Uh, he's, he's asking Falcon, "Did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. You did. You did. Well, why didn't you come out?" Um. You guys said that. Um, oh no. We did this for a show. Oh God, kid, what are you doing? No! Kid, you've ruined us! Oh my god! Why did he say- Okay. On camera, dude? D no, this has to- this, No, there's more to this story, dude. There's no way the dad didn't interrupt him. There's no way the dad didn't interrupt him as he was saying that. As they're lying on national TV. If I'm the dad, I am- I am- Pinching that kid's back. <laughs> oh, he's just emotional. I'm just pinching, trying to make him cry. Stomping on his foot. <laughs> oh, he's just so sad. He was so scared by all the people here. Oh my god. Police and the press were quick to change angle from accident to publicity stunt. Oh, dear. The mother and father were charged and they pleaded guilty. So that's the story. That's hilarious. Or is it? To this day, Richard Heaney, the father, adamantly claims it was never a hoax, just an experiment gone wrong. <laughs> and after doing okay. my own research, I'm starting to believe him. Okay. This is the story you probably don't know. I don't know it. Let's take a closer look at Richard Heaney. He's an interesting guy. <laughs> sure. He likes to do science and chase storms getting into the path of the oncoming tornado. Yeah. He is also an inventor. Hi, I'm inventor Richard Heaney, and boy, oh, I love my truck. That's why I would never permanently mount toolboxes or a lumber rack on a back. No, I'm going to use my pickup to pick up hot chicks. Yes, yes, yes. This isn't helping internet historian's case. This footage is leading me to the other conclusion. This guy would do anything for content. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> dot com. He's obviously nuts and a bit of a human meme. Okay. I just invented perpetual motion. <laughs> what about the rest of the family? Youngest, Falcon. Eldest, Bradford. His wife, Mayumi, originally from Japan. And middle child, Ryu. The family appeared Falcon. on the hit reality TV show, Wife Swap, twice. And it was their behavior Wait. on the show that made the police and the press suspicious. Wait, they were on what? Dude, so they dominated all the searches. Wait, what? Go back. Balloon, Balloon Boy is him. Richard Heaney is him. Wife Swap is him. Falcon Heaney is him. Six-year-old and Balloon is him. Oh my god, they're all top ten. 
along with Anne Frank? I guess that might be related. Like, there's something about a kid hiding. I don't... Boy in the Attic? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, I get it. Also, the most but... searched term on... Twice. And it was their behavior okay. on the show that made the police and the kid press the attic, sure, suspicious. Yeah. Before we break down the case against Richard Heaney, I'm going to show you raw footage from the liftoff. Please do. Now, first thing. Did you see it? Helium canisters. Three. They're big and they're expensive, uh -huh. and it's much more helium than they would need for a one-time hoax. But the right amount for ongoing experiments. Okay. This is a purpose-built structure for Richard's experiments. What is Seems his elaborate experiment? For a hoax. What are we building here? A high-voltage sticker, because Richard really was testing electronics on board. Is this a weather balloon? Oh, this is perpetual motion. Okay. This is a release cord, not a tether, by the way. Bro, he really went deep on this one. So they think the sun is in there? One of the loose tethers. <laughs> now, Richard gets mad, and it really doesn't feel like acting. Either he genuinely is losing his temper over the loss of his balloon, I... or he's deliberately making himself out to look like an asshole. He's like kicking shit. <laughs> Poor Mayumi, dude. <laughs> the kid sure is doing a good job of acting too. And remember that they would only have one take because there's only one sure. balloon. Dude, that kid is killing it. Give that kid a TV show. Mayumi, what were you doing? Okay, now I think it's not a hoax anymore. Nobody talks to their son like that on camera. This isn't a hoax. I don't think anybody would talk to their son like that on camera, hoping the news would find it. I think it's an act. I believe him now. I'm on the other side. Where? Where Holy you? shit. A fourth canister. He but here's another weird thing. She this sounds photo so distressed. From the police shows that Richard's electrical equipment for readings and experiments is still on board. Uh huh. Why? Why let your stuff get smashed out in a field somewhere? Now that you've seen the liftoff, let's look at the case against the Heenies. Yeah, let's. That the balloon couldn't have lifted Falcon. He called the news before 911, uh -huh. the live slip up on television, a confession, and a guilty plea. Yeah. Pretty airtight, right? Nope. Well, let's start from the top. Could this balloon lift a ball? No way. The balloon is 17 feet wide by 6 feet how, tall. How old is the boy? Six. we can figure out the surface area and the volume. We also know the construction materials. Plastic, alfoil, cardboard, thin plywood, duct tape, wire, strings, tether. No, the a boy could not be in there. is over 900 cubic feet. That gives us a lift potential of 65 pounds. There could... Minus the weight of the craft. Well... And Falcon only weighed 37 pounds. The police wait in. Where that does he you go? Lift potential to raise the boy with another 11 to 12 pounds to spare. Yeah, but where does he go? It's all cardboard? How does he. Inside. I know. But, like, how does he lay in here? He could break it open if he smashed it. Next point. Right? You're about to hear the 911 call. Wouldn't he die of helium? Yeah, wait a minute. He doesn't have oxygen. Helium is a gas. How does he breathe the helium? The media and police both said that Richard called like the news hours. first, then 911. That was a lie. The phone records show that he called the FAA first because he knew they could track the balloon better. Then Buddy. they told him to call 911 and he immediately did so. I can't believe he when knew he to did, call the FAA. The 911 operator put him on hold. When taken off hold, Mayumi picks up the phone. And so it was an experimental plane. It's a flying saucer. 
and it, that that's gone too, right? Dude, this is a creative setup. How did he come? <laughs> this is so elaborate. This setup that he's put together for this visual. I'll give it up, bro. This is inspired. I'm sorry. How long is the flying saucer gone as well? We gotta, we gotta get my saw. <laughs> okay. Hang on just one second. Don't hang up, okay? Just a minute. They get put on hold for a second time. Sam, does it have any kind of a tracking device or anything on it? No. Okay, where was the saucer? Was it in the backyard? Yeah, here, take that. Uh, hello? Yes, is this Richard? Yes, it is. Okay, was well, the flying saucer in the backyard? Yes. Okay, it, it obviously has electronics where he can know how to work it and he gets it up in <laughs> the air, off the ground? No. He doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't know how to fly! He's in that. Yeah, we... We looked everywhere, and then my son just said, "Me, because we had a tether. It wasn't supposed." How did to take he off. climb into and it? There's no electronics on it. There's no tracking device, right? No, no. Okay, hang on just a second. By this point, they've now spent dude. 20 minutes with the police, and they've been put on hold for a third time. So it was no wonder that they called the news and asked for a helicopter. Next point. Yeah. What did Falcon have to say about a helicopter the helicopter? Should be able to get that CNN. like right away, right? Well, what happened was um. This Chinese reporter walked up to me. He asked me if I could show him how he got in the attic for his TV show. So I said, okay. And then after that, another person asked me, so, so what, so what happened about this balloon thing? I was just, I did it for the show. I, I said that because I thought, I thought he was talking about the Chinese guy. Uh. What? What the fuck is he talking about? What Chinese guy? I don't remember a Chinese guy at all. It's not a great excuse, but it's within the realm of possibility. Dude, yeah, kids aren't good luck. Kids are stupid, dude. Kids are dumb, but they lie a lot. Kids lie all the time, and they get away with it a bunch. On the day of Maybe. the news arrest... The police issued a warrant to take phones, computers, documents, cameras, everything they could. And what did they find? Nothing. Nada. They interviewed Falcon, Brad, Rio, each several times uh -huh. without parental supervision. Again, what did they get? Nothing. Bro, I know what those kids got, though. Those kids got ice cream after that interrogation. Don't slip up and we're going to Cold Stone. So the police had nothing. That's not great for the prosecution. Those kids got so a the pizza police party. need a confession. They tried Richard, but he wasn't admitting to anything. So they pressed Mayumi, and she spilled the beans. <gasps> but hold on. Wait. Because her confession sucks. English is not her first language. Ah. Uh, okay. Police arranged the meeting under false pretenses, so she didn't have a lawyer with her. And also, it doesn't make any sense. Why are they she trying to the nail her so hard? The craft They're really trying to get weeks these people. Prior. Interesting. Here's Sherry from Wife Swap. There was one point where I had to hold the spaceship and clean it and carry it, and, and Falcon ran into the spaceship and hid in there. Built two weeks prior? Well, Sherry just said that she was cleaning it during filming, which was eight months ago. Are you suspicious of him, and, and if so, why? Huh. Knowing him, I couldn't imagine that he would tell the whole country that his son was up in the balloon. <laughs> she also speaks about Falcon. What's Falcon you never like? really know Literally somebody, though, is right? The type of child that you would actually see that would go into the spaceship. So um, it wasn't surprising that maybe Richard might have thought he was in there. So that leaves a big question. Why did the police pick on Richard Heaney? Uh, I'm being persecuted, I think, for the benefit of Alderton. His term runs out in 2011. He's probably going to run for governor, who knows, but not off my back. How dare Richard Heaney accuse an honest man like Sheriff Alderton of... Oh. Hmm. What? Richard said that he was taking it to court. It's a political cover-up? He would not confess. For what? So over the next month, the police applied pressure. Why? Bringing up topics such as Mayumi's citizenship status and federal charges. It was lose-lose for Richard. Potential felonies, the cost of court and lawyers, his wife could be deported. The story was number one on Google. Oh my press God, dude. decided it was a hoax, so any jury would be stacked against him. What? Yeah. It was a hoax. Yeah, we know. Guilty or innocent? Oh, this, this poor guy. The whole the world was against him. the choice he had. 
The Heenies were handed a thirty-six thousand dollar fine. Honestly, peanuts, considering they cost two and million Richard dollars. Had to formally apologize in court before a judge <laughs> and the police. They made him apologize. Very, very and I want to apologize to um. Oh <sighs> no. All the rescue workers out there. And the, um, I'm very sorry my dumb wife snapped a tether. <laughs> Mayumi! Oh, Lastly, dude. Despite pouring over dozens of interviews over the span of eight years, I have not been able to find one instance where Richard has been caught in a lie. How long is evidence of the police you, lying? How closely are you tracking it? Lying, Richard's story has not changed. He's reading every interview. So where does that leave every us clip? really? One piece of evidence. This interview. The testimony of a sleep-deprived six-year-old who's not even really listening to the question. <laughs> That's it. Those ten words are the main substance of the case against Richard Heaney. When I first started researching this story, I thought it would be a fun chance to take a few cheap shots at some liar from Colorado. But now I'm not so sure. I'm not saying for certain that this isn't a hoax, but I think there is more here than what was decided in the press and by means in October of 2009. I didn't know it was that simple of a story. Hi, I'm inventor Richard Heaney. If you itch like a son of a twitch, then you be my latest invention, he's, the patent pending bear scratch. Check it out. He's actually oh, Stu Pickles. Oh. oh, God. He's actually just Stu from Rugrats. <laughs> he's coming up with nonsense toys and gimmicks. What the fuck? That's so strange. All right, hold on. Balloon double feature. Is this the guy in the balloon in the lawn chair? Yes! I've been wanting to watch this one too. I don't know if this one will be good on YouTube. I don't think so. It's fun to watch, but... Let's watch this dude. Larry Wa Pretty good. Larry Walters has a flying lawn chair and a BB gun. <laughs> Wait, Richard Heaney made a response to Internet Historian? Did he? What did he say? I don't need to watch it. Just tell me what he said and I'll believe you. He said, true! They did an interview together? He asked if Internet Historian bought his patented bear scratcher. I mean, I'm kind of influenced. That looks comfy. Could put one on the back of my stream share. That's funny. Hey, y'all. I want to tell you a story about a man named Larry Walters. We're in Los Angeles in 1982, a few months before I was born. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear this story until a few years ago, and a lot of people I talk to, especially people my age or younger, have never heard this story at all. And that is a shame. I am delighted to share it with you, but first I want to make it absolutely clear, this is a true story. <laughs> so, all right, somewhere in LAX airspace, there is a Delta jet, right? Mm -hmm. The pilot notices something unusual on the radar, but doesn't know what it is. A nearby TWA pilot sees the same thing. It's not a plane. It's too small to be a plane. One of them radios the control tower and asks whether maybe somebody's skydiving in the area. Something like that. Nope, no skydivers. Nobody knows what this is. And soon they have their answer. 16,000 feet above sea level, <laughs> there is a man sitting in a lawn chair <laughs> tied to a bunch of helium balloons. <laughs> His name is Larry Walters. No. He's very cold, and he's sunburned, and he has a CB radio and some sandwiches. No. This was not supposed to happen. 16,000 feet in... <laughs> How did he get up there?
Bro, this story better be true. This story better be true. If this story isn't true, I'm going to be pissed off. He said it was true, but I don't believe him so far. Oh, lion ass. There's no way. <laughs> Why would you? What? How would you even get the balloons on the chair and not expect that to happen? <laughs> Have you ever been inside an Army Navy surplus store? Yes. When you're a kid, it is the coolest place in the entire world. I swear, they have Dude, everything. you could get grenades they have there. jungle boots. They have Swiss Army knives, mm -hmm. including the special little ones with a clock thing on the side of it, you know? They have that awesome lantern that folds up and becomes a flashlight. They have MREs, which admittedly are only cool if you're 12 years old. They have those special little notepads that you can write on in the Dude, middle of the Dude, my dad loved going to surplus stores. So they won't get wet. And you can still write on them. They have water purification tablets. They have this awesome binocular thing that was also a compass. And they have a, and a BB gun. Glass and all this other shit. They had this thing called a survival grenade. You, you opened it up and you had this first aid kit and a fire starter and fishing line and a knife. And basically Holy everything shit. you needed to live forever. I remember one time when I was a kid, I went and bought a rope there. Like, I didn't need a rope for anything. I just wanted a rope. It was the same rope soldiers used, and, and I just wanted it. I, I did that with well, bungee Larry cords. Walters walked into a I thought bungee cords 13, were cool as hell. And the thing that caught his eye was a weather balloon. Weather balloons have been used for more than a century. Usually the idea is that you fill it up with helium, tie some equipment to it, and let it rip, and then it'll come back to you with some meteorological data. They were never really meant to carry a human being. But that is what Larry Walters wants a weather balloon to do. <laughs> and he's been thinking about it for almost 20 years. Oh my god. It so is up. What I know about weather balloons is they can really get up there. Like, way up there. Like, like way, way, like, way, <laughs> way the hell up there. Oh, my God. And that's where Larry wants to go. He no wants way. To go he would die. Decades. He says that if he doesn't, he's going to go crazy. There's no oxygen. And I, I kind of get that. When I was 11, I decided I wanted to write. It's a one-man liftoff. I off. understand wanting something really, really, really desperately badly, as though no other outcome is even <laughs> remotely possible. Tours. The difference is that when I sit in my chair, it sits on the ground while I dork around on my little computer. Larry wants to sit in his chair and fly. You can't kick around an idea for 20 years without coming up with some kind of plan. Uh-huh. This is Larry's plan. Can't you just get a hot air balloon? Right? It's the same thing. <laughs> Somebody's backyard. Oh my god! Only four thousand dollars, dude. Wait, you could do this for way cheaper and way safer, right? That's eighties dollars, so like maybe eight k, right? This is literally Balloon Fight. This is a video game on the Nintendo. 10, yeah. Okay, wait. How? In 1982, does a single lawn chair cost $110? In 2015 money, that is 267 bucks. Like, forget the helium balloons for a second. Forget the magical flying lawn chair. Sure. If you just buy a $267 lawn chair and sit in it, I will make a video about you. It will be 45 minutes long. It will be like, this is the amazing story of this person who somehow blew all this money on one lawn chair, which I think might be impossible to do. No, 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 no. If you're going to buy a chair to go 6000 i <laughs> I'm now a commentary YouTuber. This is why this guy's full of shit. If I'm flying 6,000 feet into the air, I want to make sure it's the Rolls Royce of lawn chairs. Clearly, you've never bought a lawn chair yourself. Editor, please go ahead and put my uh, fursona... My my arguing persona right here. Have him cross his arms and look like this, please. And then me and your friend make it make it a pig. I like pigs. Friends and family and the president would all get together. Not an otter. And we would rant sona. That's it. <laughs> I love rant sonas. Hold on. I fucking love these, dude. I love these so much. These I can't scroll down too far. Oh, I've seen this guy. I've seen his videos. This was like all over YouTube for a long time. It was just like an animal telling you what to think. There's a Mario? 
Okay, I want a rant sona so bad. Can I commission somebody for a rant sona? I want one so bad. I want one so bad. I really do. Oh, that's a good idea. Do and then we would stand on the other side of the bars and just stare at you. Go on Fiverr? I found that one hundred and ten dollar figure in a newspaper article and at first I thought the I'll same pay thing premium, bro. Thinking. Well, it's I love rant sona. It's actually a ten dollar lawn chair. They just typed an extra one by mistake, right? That's reasonable. That happens all the time. Except, here's a story on the flight from 1993 that puts the price at $109. These are the only reported prices of the chair I was able oh to find. Oh, my God. 109 and 110 Listen, we're going to take a detour here. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so do we have two completely different typos that are just magically basically the same number? I mean, that seems absurd, but I'll bite. So that means there was a United Press International story with this price tag of $110. We're really going the off the rails made a typo. It got through an editor and a copy editor. We need more mid-rolls. dozens of newspapers. Those newspapers have their own editors, and as far as I can find, none of them fixed it. And then 11 years later, the Associated Press runs basically Give him a the rent sona for this in particular. Everyone again. And of all these people, not one of them stands up and says, wait, that's a ridiculous price to pay for a lawn chair. If it's a nice lawn chair. Was this, was this really the state of the lawn chair economy in the 80s? Like, you can report that a lawn chair cost 100 bucks and nobody cares? Sure. Oh, the Reagan years were so weird. Leisure is important. <sighs> okay, speaking of weird, let's get back to the man who wants to Oh my god, there's a lawn chair. Huh? I didn't think there'd be video so footage. The ground crew consists of Carol and his friend Ron. Larry must be a pretty convincing dude because both Carol and Ron have begged him not to do this, and yet they're <laughs> still helping him. Larry's in his chair, sitting there a few feet above the ground, tethered by a couple of ropes, just kind of sitting there for the time being. Larry they is They release the first rope, and unhinged. then Ron's like, Larry, wait, seriously, don't do this. He's interrupted. You can't get him to the this point and be snaps. like, hey, don't do it. No, he's gone. Goodbye. Larry is gone. Goodbye, Larry. <laughs> Oh my god. He went so fast. Holy shit, dude. It's a cloudy day? Why wouldn't you do this on a sun dude? Why wouldn't you just cancel for weather? The ground tethered by a couple of ropes. Go out on a sunny day. He went to heaven. Release the first rope and then Ron's like, "Larry, wait, seriously." He got don't fucking raptured. He's interrupted. The second rope snaps. So long. Larry is gone. <laughs> I want to see this in real time. I get why he had to speed it up, but I bet it's way funnier in real time. Here. <laughs> He's just... Larry is He's just slowly gone. watching him drift into the clouds, into the sky, into space. Goodbye, Larry. This is still faster than it would actually be. <laughs> oh my god. Good lord. Let's take a ride. Sure. Like how you done me? Fly up on a struggle. Pants in my trunk. Future in my Skip this song, please. I'm going to get in trouble. 1451. No. <laughs> I yeah, this is what I was thinking. The oxygen's running out. You're gonna die. No, surely he stops here. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. Larry, Larry, get down! All right, so this is what Larry sees. Larry Walters, who is sitting in a damn lawn chair tied to a bunch of stuff he Holy bought Holy shit! Store, has just shattered the world record for highest cluster balloon flight. By accident! It won't be officially recognized because the flight was never officially sanctioned because he didn't really tell anybody about it. He didn't notify nearby airports or ask permission from the FAA. He just did it. Better to ask now he's forgiveness. Now in the sky than he Truly. ever imagined he'd get. And How did he ready not to make die? Journey over the horizon, past the mountains, into the Mojave Desert. 
We're lucky enough to have a map detailing the course of his flight. Let's join Larry Walters on his historic mission. Dude, that's fascinating. This guy experienced something no one else on the planet will ever experience. Isn't that incredible? This guy had his one-man journey that no one will ever be able to relate with him about. That's fascinating. Well, shit. This flight path is an It's not a plane. It was estimated by Planes Mark Perry, aren't the who same. Has probably conducted more original research on Larry and his flight than anybody. I don't have time here Man. to get to them all, but there are a lot of other really good little details at markberry.com. Most notably, audio of Larry's communication with the ground. The folks at React, an organization that monitors CB radio transmissions, had the foresight to hit the record button and document this historic event. Good. And that is why we get to listen to Larry Walters try to explain himself to the planet Earth. Can someone ask him what part of the ground is? This is shit. <laughs> you should be able to see me. Let me down. Oh my god. Please help. Bro, if I'm react, I don't know what to do here. This has to be the weirdest thing that's ever happened to them. Yeah, isn't he supposed to shoot them down? Maybe his gun jammed. Oh, and God. he's stuck with those 35 weather balloons. Why? He's freezing up there, and he's sunburned, and he's way too high, and he's way off course, and he's worried that if he can even descend at all, he'll drift into power lines and electrocute himself. And that's if he can descend. He popped out about seven of his balloons, but he doesn't really have a way to pop out any more of them because he doesn't have his BB pistol. Did he drop it? Because he dropped it. No! Larry's in deep shit. He's dead! Not that anybody knew for sure how many balloons he had in the first place. Quote, it wasn't a highly scientific expedition. What? I guess it really wasn't, huh? I believe 24, yeah. Did he not have the correct number of balloons? Will that not let you find him? Do you see somebody else flying around with 32? Oh, that's not Larry. <laughs> that's not him. Bro, yeah, he had a parachute. Wait, what? By the way, remember that backup pair of glasses he packed with him? Yeah. Those came in handy. He had shot up with such acceleration that his glasses just fell off his face. <laughs> okay, evidently I lost my glasses. Ronnie. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Carol probably feels completely powerless at this point. She sounds desperate for literally any good news she can get. We got your glasses, did they? We got your glasses and they're okay. Nothing's wrong with your glasses. Thank God. Thank the Lord. That was definitely his main concern. <laughs> Hooray. Larry's trapped on a piece of flying lawn <laughs> furniture that's going into space. But they'll they pass those on to his kids. Right. That's nice. Yeah. They'll have something to remember him by. Finally, right good now. news. Hey, you good. Carol's providing valuable coordination on the ground, and she's helping to keep track of Larry's location. She knows where he's headed, and she doesn't like it. Oh, God, dude, is he going to go into the ocean? Oh, God. Dude, Carol is a saint. Carol's trying to bring him home. Come on, Carol. I don't know Larry, and I don't know Carol, but it really sounds like he has someone down there who really genuinely loves him. <laughs> he has that going for him. And his good luck Help him! Out there. As it turns out, 35 is just about the correct number of balloons to have tied to you if you, you want to make a slow and safe descent. Man. He's coming down. Local authorities have shut off the power in Long Beach, so he won't fry himself on the power lines. And he lands completely unharmed. He no. climbs out of his craft, the Inspiration One, and without a second thought, he just gives it to some neighborhood kid. <laughs> he never sees it again. His bottle of what? is the only thing he holds on to. The FAA wants to penalize him, but doesn't really know how because this has never happened before. Bro, I assumed this whole time 
that this was like uh, this was an up situation. The dude was close to death, wanted to go out with one final bang. You know what I mean? Like this was his final thing. He's my age. Oh my God. He has accomplished so much more than I ever will. He touched the sun. He's 33. Oh my God. So yeah, close to death. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Ever. Quote, we know he broke some part of the Federal Aviation Act and as soon as we decide which part- Yeah, what is, charges do you press here? You did it, Larry. You wanted to do it for 20 years and you did it. Good for him, dude. I saw a rook talk and power line. I thought to myself, my How my have God, I never God, heard get, of this? You know, please God, you know. Don't let me get fried. Today, Walter said he has no intention of going ballooning again. His first priority now is to This was 1989. He was 33 in 1989. Right? Which means he's what? 30 he's 65 now. He died in 1993. Wait, really? Sell the rights to his No. Story. I will endorse Sears lawn chairs. No. About 11 years after his flight, Larry Walters hiked to a remote part of a nearby forest. And took his own life. No! Why? He's 44 years old. He didn't leave a note. Oh my that god! That day in the lawn chair, he never even used his camera. He said he was so amazed by what he saw that he forgot to take a single picture. It was one hell of a view, he said. What this a bummer! This is the view from 16,000 feet. It was a clear day. Larry is surely one of the only human beings ever to sit in a chair, sip a drink, and enjoy this view. Sure, Not yeah. Not behind a window, safe from the elements, but through the naked eye. If the clouds got out of the way and he looked toward the ocean, he could have seen, just barely, the curvature of the Earth. Oh. We read it in books, and we take people's word for it. He could have sat up there and seen it. He might have seen the world for what it was. That's so literal, I know. But to me, it counts. Dude, that's insane. He did the one thing he was put on this planet to do, and he never hit that high again. That's crazy. Makes me want to do it. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. Don't do this. For the love of God. Someone else did this in 2015, though nowhere near as high. This has to happen more, right? Hey, can you hear me? Are you? Are I can't you believe doing? he hadn't inspired copycats. How many views does this video have? 551k. At least 0.5 percent of the people who watch this video see this and are like, "Hmm," right? Which is like 2,500 people. And of those, you have to imagine at least 20 are crazy to do it. Right? Man. Come on, Coney. How many subs? Uh, 100K on YouTube, bro. 100K on YouTube. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I'll get in a chair and I'll fly above the continental U.S. 16,000 fucking feet. Oh my God. The kid he gave the chair to went on to be a pilot and the chair is in a museum. Are you kidding? No. Bro, the world is magical. Existence is beautiful, man. Over. That's fascinating. Hey, can you hear me? Over. Modest Mouse. Oh. 
Bro, this is... He experienced something nobody else in the world ever would. Man. It's a good song, by the way. Modest Mouse is great. Good movie. Sad ending. What a bummer. Guys, follow your dreams, but not this one. Yahoo! That was his dream. Find your own. Second time donating this because I believe in the content. <laughs> the story is crazy. Hold <laughs> on. What is it? <laughs> Are you serious? There's no way this is a good story. Hold on. Just in case we put this on YouTube. I don't know if we will. I don't, I, I don't really know if that's good. But just in case... Fellas, follow your dreams. Listen to that little voice that tells you, get on the, well, don't get on the chair. Don't follow his dream. Follow your own dream. But don't make your dream so big that you do something drastic. Because that's sad. Just ha have, a, have a small dream. You know, have a small attainable dream that don't, doesn't make you sad when you accomplish it. I don't know how to end this video. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Goodbye. My dream is that you'll subscribe. I hope you do it. You got a few seconds before the video ends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't type that. I saw what you typed. I'm not going to say who did it, but I saw that. Don't type that. That's sad. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what a weird ending. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. You're at donated this again. Why is he Gran Turismo posting? Why is he doing Stone this? Stone Cold. Stone Cold. If Nyret gets to make you watch a movie, then I do too. Hold on. Nyret's been donating this movie for a long-ass time. A very long time. <laughs> you didn't even get the Stone Cold, by the way. Hold on. All right, I'll give you five minutes. I trust Nyret. I trust Nirette because he's been right before. He has been right before. I'll trust him on this. You've been right one- I forget what video you submitted, but it was good. We love video games, right? Especially racing games. But for a long, long time, most of them sucked. True. In my expert opinion, which I know you guys came here for, racing games should be divided into two eras. Before Gran Turismo, BGT, and after Gran Turismo. Bro, no, I hate Gran Turismo. AGT. Burnout's better. The original better. game was L. a complete game changer. Pun absolutely intended. The streets that play Midnight Club. style excitement with a hand-built physics engine that made video game racing more fun and more realistic than ever before. Today, we are going to learn how crazy, impossibly hard it was to make this game, what made it so revolutionary, and how its creator intends to make it realer than real in the future. I mean, More it's... Human than human is our motto. So fire up your PS1. It's PS1. It can't be that hard. Cards, tell your mom you're going to be in the basement for the next 16 hours. Games straight, were mad easy hands. to make back Mommy, then, bro. can I please have some Pizza Hut? Let's get you up to speed. I never Grand got the Charisma. appeal of racing games. Bro, racing games rule. Racing games are Big fun as shit. Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's internet. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not mad at you. Get your money, but I'm not watching it. Before we get into it, please hit that like button. Uh, it really helps us out with the algorithm. And it'll make you feel good. Does he have a Bart Simpson tattoo? <laughs> pretty funny the algorithm is my king slash queen it's, it's non-binary but it is binary because it's code anyway hit it before gran turismo it's there were basically funny. two types of racing games there was arcade style fun like excite bike and iron man ivan stewart super off-road in which the main goal was to beat your friends or wipe out extremely hard then there were realistic racing sims like pole position and wc Le Mans which attempted to simulate 
actual circuit racing. It sounds grueling, but the Le Mans game was actually super successful. However, I've like all racing sims at the time, it focused exclusively on this track is outrun. racing and didn't feature street cars at all, which is kind of like making uh, an NBA game where you don't have a manager and you can't like be friends with Drake. I mean, I guess it's technically basketball, but you leave out most of the fun stuff. I mean, being friends with Drake is like the only reason that I played for the Raptors. Sony developer- He played for the Raptors? Yamauchi was inspired to make a driving game that was both- Is this a professional player? Realistic and fun. When he was 15 years old, he went to an arcade and was disappointed by every single driving game. In I thought I words, thought maybe he like pivoted. Okay, never mind. When I saw racing- I thought maybe arcade, like he was actually like I a basketball myself, pro and pivoted. This is I don't it. know. I want to drive real cars. Now, I unlike don't know. many game developers, Yamauchi I'm lived and breathed. <laughs> I took it. I, I believed the, the YouTuber. Three, he could name all My the bad. makes and models he spot around his hometown. His first car was an early 80s Toyota Celica XX, which later became the Supra. Later, he bought an R32 GTR to drive in street races, which he crashed at 125 miles per hour just six months after he bought it. <laughs> now, he obviously survived that crash. Oh my he went God. on to design 16 bit side scrollers at Sony during the 80s. His dream project remained to create the ultimate racing sim. But he had trouble selling all the executives on this idea. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that shit. Nothing like it had ever been done before. Nope. Now, 1992, two years before the release of the first PlayStation console, which he helped design, by the way, Kaz pitched his idea for Gran Turismo to the execs at Sony from a list of 100 game ideas he had in all different- 100? And they said no. Damn, dude. Sony worried that the game would be too boring to find a mainstream audience. Instead, True, they they're hired right. him to make, wait for it, a Mario Kart ripoff. Let's go! Mario Kart yes! was a huge hit on the Super Nintendo system, and Sony they're literally sure right. they had a similarly cartoonish, highly accessible racing title for the launch of the PlayStation. And man, did he rip off Mario Kart. <laughs> The resulting game called Motor Tune Grand Prix. Oh, I know this game. It was a kart racing game with coins, power ups. <laughs> Look at the cart smear. Crazy mushroom. Hey, I always say steal from the best, which is why I use Usain Bolt's Netflix password. There were a couple of things that stood out about <laughs> his car version of moving. Kart racing. For one thing, the graphics looked like a Cars movie on acid. Am I gonna be like this Oh, no. More importantly, the game featured the realistic physics that he wanted in his real racing, <laughs> but with a cartoony exterior later. His realistic. Now, as the creator himself later put it, we hid Gran Turismo within the game while maintaining the look of video games that were popular at the time. In fact, his company, Polyphony Digital, used part of the budget for Motor Tune Grand Prix to start developing Gran Turismo. Bro, that's embezzlement. Greenlit. And when Motor Tune Grand Prix 2 was released, that's in literally a bezelman. What do you mean? Could unlock a new mode that swapped out the cartoon cars for an accurately modeled stock car <laughs> or an open wheeled race car. The first what? Motor Tune Grand Prix was never that's released literally illegal in the U.S. But Sony execs were happy enough with the product that they now believed that Yamauchi could produce a major title and finally gave the green light to his dream project. It took five years and to it develop sucked. Gran Turismo before it was finally released at the end of 1997. That's now a pretty typical development window for a major video game release. But back in the 90s, that was like absolutely unheard of. Way Bro, too games long. For take... example, another PlayStation... Dude, games take way too long to make now. Games are so obnoxiously long to make. It's so annoying. Like, Red Dead 2 took what? 12 years but of course you don't know how long is it like actually being worked on you know ff7r took 80 years yeah you know, no dude the final fantasy remake was just like square didn't want to play their card they could only play that card one time one time so they wanted to make sure you know what i mean ff7r took five years it kept getting restarted okay yeah, it's a it's an emergency glass situation. And they were smart because what they did was they put it out and they're like, hey, we're going to stretch this on as long as we can, which is very intelligent. Very happy to hear that. I waited 15 years for Five Nights at Freddy. Wait, what? 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 
Does that mean it came out when you were 15? <laughs> Dude, making games sucks. It's hard as hell. Racing title called Ridge That's a Racer. time traveler that got it? stuck. I think they meant since months. birth, yeah. <laughs> and the Superman game for N64 was made by one guy. Bro, if I was 14 when Five Nights came out, oh my god, I would still be obsessed. Holy shit. That would blow my fucking mind. I, on an all-night paint-huffing bender. I've never played that game, but it's either the best or the absolute worst. So to keep development afloat during the long timeline, Yamauchi kept costs low by using a small team. He started with just five coders, which grew to 20 near the end of the process. He specifically sought out programmers who are experts in the then rare art of 3D graphics. And Ooh. as team leader, he encouraged the other developers to push the capabilities of the PS1 console. He also had no social life. During the development process, Kaz Yamauchi would only go home a handful of times a year. He and his team would usually sleep under their desks and resume working as soon as they woke up. Bro, Japan is crazy. Japan is nuts with this shit. Like, the work conditions. It's insane. That's like the beginning of Donut, honestly. We used to do that. Look, there I love Crunch, but that's too much. Of me sleeping under our board table. One night, he left the building wearing a t shirt, only to find that it was freezing outside. At the time, he couldn't even remember how many winters it had been since he began work on the game. Jesus it's like a Civil Christ. War documentary. My dearest Liza, I know not how many winters it's too been. Too bad the game since sucked, too. The children. Man. But take heart. General Grant says we've almost finished designing the main menu and the soundtrack. Is bopping. Yamauchi spent these long years honing all Red this Charisma's time biggest to put out a shitty physics game. Engine, Worse which than is burnout. Built from the ground up. Previous driving games had largely faked the physics of driving by creating animations that mimicked the behavior of a car. So uh, the car okay. on screen would look like it's screeching to a stop, but sure. it was actually responding to your controls. Gran Turismo instead included code for stuff like the actual weight of the car, the torque of the engine, the grip of the tires. Some of this data this is came obsessive. directly from the car companies. But the more advanced physics helped the driving feel Burnout more real, doesn't exist yet. Yamauchi's well, I did, okay, Hence so this game, game was good until Burnout came out. You worked all that time and then Burnout just came up and ate your lunch. Original subtitle, The Real Driving Scene. Was Midnight Club out some yet? some older racing games, hmm? it can feel like your car is stationary and the track is moving around you, like this. I was wondering if he was going to play that. But Gran Turismo's 3D Burnout doesn't exist anymore. I know. Don't remind Yamauchi me. Yamauchi was especially a proud of light Man. reflection. As cars moved along the track, the light and reflections on the vehicle's surface would shift, giving the cars a sense of motion that had never been achieved before. Right? So nowadays, ray tracing is part of almost every video game. But back then, it was brand new. Gran Turismo also featured Gran Turismo had ray tracing cars. The first Need for Speed game, which was released around the same time. How many cars? Do you RTX think was in wrong. eight. Gran eight Turismo cars. Cruising USA only had four. Another unique thing was that you could race regular cars like a Honda Civic and a Mitsubishi Eclipse, not just flashy sports cars, race cars, or generic unbranded cars based on flashy sports cars or race cars. There's also the first game to fully support PlayStation's DualShock controller, which is sick. But the biggest innovation for car nerds like me, you, and Iron Man, Evan Stewart, was the nearly endless customization. As you won races, you earned credits, which uh -huh. allowed you to buy parts to tune your car to win more races. Yeah, and that this made it. Players returning to the no, game. No, but that again made it too deep. There are too many again. parts, dude. Like Why isn't he listening to me? It's my turn to talk. By every single game since, from Call of Duty to NBA 2K to whatever mobile game uh, we're pushing no, this week. <laughs> don't know footage wall. of Gran Turismo. He's don't know walling me. Of a mashup trailer of PlayStation games at E3 in 1990. This guy doesn't respect Fans my were time. Immediately intrigued. A racing game with cool cars and awesome graphics. Are they even? Are they even allowed to do that? And as soon as it was released, the gaming world immediately fell in love with Gran Turismo's carefully balanced blend of realism and fun. The game sold six eh, million copies in the fun? first year. It eventually became the best-selling PlayStation 1 game of all time. 
in history. Really? Forever. No. There's no way. There's no way that's true. Oh my god. You guys want to know the top 10? Crash Bandicoot is 11. Okay. This is crazy. MGS. Tomb Raider. Crash Bandicoot 3. Crash Bandicoot 2. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? What? Number six of all time? Harry Potter? I can't believe everybody in the chat is like, I had that, I had that, I had that, I had that. Tekken 3. That, like, everything else makes sense. Gran Turismo is 1 and 2. That's insane. Well, 1 and 2 is top 3. Bro, that's unreal. Crash Bandicoot is furious. I'd be mad as hell if I was Crash Bandicoot. Rayman sold 4 mil? Rayman sucks. Don't tell Luke I said that. Let's go Obworld. Obworld deserves it. Everybody's golf. Pro Tactics is number 37. Good for her. Damn. With nearly 11 million satisfied buyers. And like 14 I can't believe that. satisfied I, buyers. Dude. The massive success, though, was bittersweet for Yamauchi, who was so exhausted from the development process that, quote, there was no room left to feel accomplishment. <laughs> I can relate, but he was back at it soon enough, and a sequel hit shelves less than two years And after it was the twice original. as bad. Unfortunately, the rush to stores made Gran Turismo 2 less successful than the original. One notable bug left players stuck at 98.2% completion. Oh, I remember that. Ever finishing the game, which is massively frustrating. It's like digital edging. It's because yeah, you the can't drag racing section was removed that part. late in the development process. So you didn't get to do it. You didn't finish the game. So after this, Kaz Yamuchi went back to the drawing board and sketched himself up a masterpiece. Gran Turismo 3 A spec for the PlayStation 2 is widely considered one of the greatest games of all time on any system in any genre. Well, GT3 took advantage of the PS2's advanced graphics capabilities. I think you're statistically wrong about the game being bad. Listen, I don't care about statistics. I care about what's in my heart. I care about what's in here. Not what's up here. Not what's on there, on the screen. I care about what's here. Gran Turismo blows, bro. It's boring. Insane details like waves of heat Sim above games. the cars as they idle on the starting line. And sun glare as you circle the track on a cloudless day. The AI also took a step forward. Yamauchi's team claimed to have developed emotion physics. <laughs> Holy crap, James. Awesome. What does that mean? cut off a car while passing the computer driver, they would react and try and retaliate giving millions of children their first taste of road rage. Gamers Dead appreciated lying. the level That's not real. GT3 sold nearly 15 million Lion copies. Ass. There's been four more Gran Turismo games since, and another one coming out in March. They introduced features like online play and expanding the options to thousands I've of never played Gran Turismo. Should I try it? The franchise has sold over 80 million copies I just worldwide, don't care about cars. PlayStation series ever. Suck it, Ratchet and or Clank. We also have Gran Turismo to thank for pretty much every other good racing game. <laughs> I like its success forced other franchises to innovate in order to stand out, which led to games like the Crash Heavy Burnout series. Well... It also inspired many direct imitators, most notably Forza. Damn! Xbox, and of course, the masterfully realistic street racing action of Shrek Smash and Crash Racing for the game. <laughs> And what the impact the of Gran Turismo isn't limited to other games. It also changed actual racing. In I did play Forza. Sony and Polyphony Digital partnered with I have been Nissan playing Forza. It's pretty good. launched the GT Academy, a program that helped the best Gran Turismo players in the world become actual race car drivers. Graduates of the program that went seems on to so race condescending. The in a NASCAR. In fact, You're really good the at the father video game. of the series, Yamauchi himself, 
has gone on to become a pro driver, even taking first in class at the 24 Oh, that's kind of neat. Good for him. In Germany. Not bad for a dude. Good who for him, the bro. Skyline and used to sleep under he a, a it. desk. The future of Gran Turismo may be even wilder than the past. And even you can worse. Count on Sony to continue Why am I to doing crank this? out franchise titles until the heat death of the universe. But these days, Kaz Yamauchi is interested in exploring ways to connect the real and digital worlds. In a recent interview, he said, I would like to take on the challenge of creating a world where people feel more reality than the real thing, whether this is through Gran Turismo or not. That sounds terrifying. What, what does champ? that mean? Well, maybe someday there'll be a version of Gran Turismo created exclusively for VR. Maybe someday. What is more reality than Turismo reality? In a self driving vehicle. That maybe doesn't make sense. Someday, Yamauchi. We won't even need cars because Gran Turismo will be the matrix and we'll all just live inside of it. The freaking metaverse. Can someone explain in the comments? Wait, when did this video come out? I thought this was an old video, but I just saw meta. Oh my God, this is new. Wow. I thought this was an old ass video and then I saw the meta logo. I was like, wait, that's recent. Versus and why I should not be scared of it. I've got no freaking idea what's gonna happen. I don't understand a lot of things. I'm just a YouTube guy. But if Kazunori I'd rather have burn out than Grand Turismo, bro. Entire genre I don't care. Video games, he can probably figure this one out too. Are you one of the millions of people struggling to stay warm by lathering hot beans all over your body? Are you tired of people judging you for wearing beans? Is and this Dr. Squatch? A little sticky. You think? Introducing the Donut Beans hoodie. No. No thanks. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I skipped it. Not a bad movie. Pretty good movie. Wrong about a lot of things, obviously, but I can't really blame it for that. You know what I mean? They were just simply misinformed. Not their fault. But fellas, there's no misinformation about the, Oh my god, I wasn't ready. About the hottest new show, Wheel of Time. That's right, ago, Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. A baby was born who could change the world. A baby born who could change the world. Is that Cersei? That's Cersei, right? That's Cersei from the mo from the show. Oh my god, it's Wheel of Time. Season 1 releases on 11-19, which is a few days ago. And the series is episodic with Season 1 finishing on 12-24 on Christmas Eve. It's available globally and exclusively on Amazon Prime Video. Oh my god, you guys! The Dark One is waking. If we do not stop him... The whole world will The Wheel of Time no on Amazon Prime. Cool. The Wheel of Time. That's what I just said. Only on Prime Video. And I'm pretty sure that was the lady that played Cersei, but I, I could be wrong. Guys, The Wheel of Time is a series of high fantasy novels written by American author Robert Jordan. Let's take a look at the show more. Wait, what? Why is the bounty not tracking? What? An American epic fantasy ago, television secret. series Her based on Robert one. Jordan's novel series of the same name and produced by it's Sony Pictures Television and Amazon life, Studios. Be what you thought. The Dark One is waking. With Rafe if Judkins him, serving as showrunner. The first season, consisting no of eight back. episodes, premiered on Prime Video on November 19, 2021 with the release of the first three episodes. The remaining five are set to air on a weekly basis until December 24th. Are we really going back to weekly episodes? 20 years Is that ago, what? I, a secret. I feel like we stopped one. doing that. People used to like binge it and now we stop. And it's one of you. Your life isn't going to be Okay, well, I guess we're back to that. Well, uh, they're releasing weekly episodes, you guys. No and back. it has already been renewed for his second season? The Wheel of Time. It hadn't even come out yet. Only on Prime okay, Video. now the tracking started. The tracking didn't start until now. It's a one-minute bounty, but it didn't start until now. Ago, Guys, the, the Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. It, it just flows right it's off the tongue. Of Based on the Wheel of Time Your series by Robert Jordan. Starring Rosam Rosamund Pike. 
Daniel Henney, Zoe Robbins. Oh, that's not the person I thought it was. Oh, jeez. Uh, Zoe Robbins, Madeline Madden, Joshua Stradowski, Marcus Rutherford, Barney Harris, Kate Fleetwood, and Priyanka Bose. You know I love Priyanka Bose for her roles in Uproot and Unga and Lion and Half Ticket and Pariksha and Sadak 2. Love all these actors. Love The Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. Check it out right now. Please. There's a show called Unga. Look. I didn't make it up. Ungama. Ungama. What's up, Coney? First time making it to a stream. Love the YouTube content. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for what just happened. It's not normally like this. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a wheel of time to get these minutes of my life back. Shut up. It was one minute. Shut up. <laughs> you can give me one minute of your time. I've been streaming for almost three hours. You can give me one, well, 16 minutes. Because of the American Eagle thing. Dude, I, I don't know what it is about the bounty tracking. It doesn't start right away. It used to start immediately. But now it, like, starts... Like, a minute late. It's so weird. I still have Legends of Runeterra, but no way I'm popping that. It was two minutes, I know. So 16 minutes total. I've been out for three hours. Come on. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is that? That's not me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is me looking smug. Oh god. Be careful what you wish for. It's an NFT. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm a fucking pig. Perfect for rants. I look smug as hell, bro. Oh my god. I gotta ask for more art on stream, bro. This shit bangs. I want to retweet so bad. I've had to make it a rule that I can't retweet fan art. Because then, if like a 10-year-old draws a stick figure of me, I have to show everybody. And everybody's like, that's kind of weird, Coney. Like, why would you share that? You wouldn't share that if he wasn't a fan. But the, the two things tonight have been excellent. <laughs> like, holy shit. End of stream art section. <laughs> oh my god. Feel free to screenshot. Don't screenshot this, bro. What are you doing? Don't screenshot this. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> this is mine. I own the rights. I own the rights to this image. Stop. Stop torsing. Don't take the picture. This pick goes hard. Okay. All right. We had fun. This is such a good shot. <laughs> like, this is killing me. He looks so smug. He's so rude, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Lord. Okay. All right. You know, I'm going to I'm going to have to call stream a little bit earlier tonight. I'm super sleepy, but it's not over just yet. We have one more order of business. It's not over. It's not Ring Fit Adventure. Now, we have to set the baseline for how smart I am. And who better to tell me than Nintendo? Can't wait. I love this. Wait, this song, I feel like I've heard it before, not here. Is it Animal Crossing? Brawl? I feel like I've heard it other than that. Is this game $60? 
Oh, it's 30. Okay, I was gonna say. I might pick it up. Is this still part of the sponsorship? No, it's over. <laughs> All right, let's see where I'm at. Let's establish a baseline. Practice on your own. Try it. Oh my god, multiplayer. This seems like it would get toxic. Calling your friends dumb as shit. Oh, I can find out how smart I am in different areas. Thank you, Golden Proto Man, by the way. I'll enroll. <laughs> I love this professor. Hello. Hello, Dr. Loeb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Tell us about yourself. What's your age? Do I have to? Guys, don't... How old can you be? They wanted to make sure they didn't exclude anybody. Oh my god. I guess they like... Has anybody ever lived to 120? Seriously. The poor 121 year old. I'm curious. What's my style? Uh, okay. Occupation. Choose something close to your real occupation. What? Uh. What? Student of life? <laughs> I... Self-employed, I guess. Free agent. It's pretty good. Self-employed, I guess. Your catchphrase. Oh my god, there's so many options. Praise is precious. I'll do it tomorrow. Tired. Gotta finish strong. Isn't food the best? Sheer will makes a winner. Not winning is not my thing. I'm good at being a bad influence. Life is great. That's not a catchphrase. Tall is just a state of mind. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay. I can't believe I saw that before any of you. I can't believe it. Can't beat a good beat. Horses are better than people. Fine. For you. My grandkids are the cutest. Alright. Uh. Okay. I get more like this. I'll make me. Am I this? I guess. Ooh, cute hats. Oh, you could get more outfits? Oh, a kitty! Get a pig nose? I think you can't. Can you? Oh, no, you can't change the face. As good as I can get it. I'll be cool. Now I'm cool. I'll unlock more. Don't worry. Oh, you son of a bitch. Practice. Ghost Clash? Practice. Start by trying an activity and identify it? What? Whack match? Whack the moles with these. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Okay. How do I know how smart I am? Oh my god, I have 182 IQ. Oh my god! <laughs> the smartest person on the planet! <laughs> Where's the thing? Four hundred IQ. Good lord. 
go! Oh no, it's gonna think I'm dumb for that. Never mind, okay, we're good. <laughs> Hold on. Bro, come on. I can't complete it if you do this. Give me the purple one. One more. Come on, Sunflower. Let's go! Okay. Wait, it doesn't have to be in order? One K. I'm going one K. We're going one K on this. Cake. Cake champ. Cake champ. Down up. Down down down. Down. TV. Uh fork. Drink. Absent. Yep. 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 Upright down. Upright. Dude, the game probably thinks I'm dumb as shit after that. <laughs> Uh, this guy's not hitting anything. <laughs> Is he still there? No. Okay. Okay, R orange square. No! Fuck. No. Oh my god. God. Okay. Oh wait, are the colors always the same? If so, I need to not worry about it. Because I'm looking for, like, the color and the thing to change. Whatever. Okay, 800's good. 800 IQ is great. How smart. Your brain is most impressive. I know. Three lobe metal. Thank you. Amazing. No, don't, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it tried to get me to buy. What was next? It said a different game. Balloon Burst. Okay. It really tried to get me to buy it. Pop from lowest to highest. Sure. Okay. I'm fast. Red, green, purple, five, stop, six, stop, 13, stop, 20, oh my god, stop, I'm, no, stop, purple, eagle, rabbit, stop, two, please, two, stop, two, stop, two, no, four, there's five, no two, stop, please, stop doing that, choke, I'm not choking, I'm doing it right. I'm getting one, wait, uh, I hate imaginary numbers. Uh, thir 30, 38, uh, 46, 49, 7, 8, 3. Okay. Uh, 4. No, 4! Oh, it was negative. God damn it! Got it! 600. 600. That's good. That's good. Negative numbers are real? No, they're imaginary numbers. They're like eyes. The eye numbers, you know? Three lobes? Oh my god. Whatever, I'll take the two. It's fine. Dude, it's gonna try to get... It makes you hit A a bunch, and then it tries to send you to the shop. Insane. Match the picture to the shadow. Okay. How could this be hard? What? Huh? Oh, God. Oh, God. Instantly regrets it. <laughs> okay, I get it now. Oh, are you fucking kidding? What? Okay. Uh, are you... No, dude. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I see spinlies and the... Okay. This is annoying. Frankenstein and I see uh, fingers and I see a robot and I see... Flat feet. And I... Dude, get out of the way! Which one is that? Hand? Is it? Yes! Okay. 
I, dude, I, I can't see. I literally can't see. I, this sucks. I hate this game. NFTs. <laughs> How'd I do? That's good. 250's good. I'm not dumb. That shit's hard. Oh, wait, that's silver? No, wait, I got three. No, I didn't get. I got. How'd I get silver? I got three stars. What? Huh? It's not like in League. I'm better than Silver in League. Why am I doing this again? How do I get my IQ? Ghost Clash. Wait, I can't play Ghost Clash? Can I see how smart I am? Oh, you're, a, you're an asshole. Why can't I do anything? I can't do anything in the game. Dude, all these games aren't allowed. What? Bro, there's three games in here. It's a demo? I thought it'd be a little bit longer. It's like three mini games, bro. I'm not paying Pogant. The demo doesn't have... Every game in it? Wow! It needs 100 million mini games. True, like the Kilkador video. <laughs> That's what I need. I thought I would get an IQ score and, and I could see how smart I am. But sadly, that was not in the cards. I thought I was going to get something. That's annoying. It seems like a small game to begin with. Yeah. That's a, That's obnoxious. I want a big mini game. <laughs> so like a game. <laughs> All right, I'm sleepy. I got to go to bed. Sorry for the shorter stream than I I know I usually go past like I used to go 8 to 11 and now I go to like 8 to like 12, but I'm pretty beat. No stream tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving. Um Friday though is my Mario 64 race. I'll probably just stream all that day. I'll probably just do the whole thing. So be ready for that. Um Enjoy your Thanksgiving, everybody. I'll see you soon. I don't feel like finding somebody to raid, so I'm not going to do it. We're just going to end this. Disperse wherever you would like to go. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. <laughs>